Chapter 1301 The Aftermath Translator Born to be the corrupt experts had all been brought away by the corrupt god Skull, making the battlefield feel empty. All the dragonblood warriors surrounded Long Chen. Boss, the black net mark on Long Chen's forehead had already vanished. He looked completely normal, but everyone was worried. Ji Yuai Yan had killed all the corrupt soul transformation and foundation forging experts to unleash this curse. Even the life star experts had had their vitality stripped away. It definitely wasn't just used to frighten people. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were pale as they held Long Chen's arms. Their hands were shivering with worry. Don't worry. Right now, Long Chen is fine, said Li Xiangxuan. But Li Xiangxuan was sighing inside. A divergent was truly a divergent. No matter how you planned, no matter how many calculations you made, anything involving them would never be in your control. Hearing this, everyone relaxed slightly. Long Chen asked, Xuan Master, what is that underworld soul ghost curse? Life devouring blood right. When he had been cursed, he had felt his whole body turn cold as if he had been frozen. But then that feeling had passed in the next moment. It was like it had never happened. Seeing Li Xiangxuan hesitate, Long Chen said, Xuan Master, it's fine to tell me. Only then did Li Xiangxuan sigh. This is one of the corrupt path's most sinister curses. I never thought that Ji Yuai Yan would be able to unleash it at such a young age. The Underworld Soul Ghost Curse. Life Devouring Blood Rite is one of the corrupt path's sinister secret arts. Ji Yuai Yan has to possess an extremely high status in the corrupt path, or he wouldn't be able to learn such a skill nor would he be able to forcibly strip other corrupt experts of their life energy when they aren't willing. Even life star experts had some of their life energy stripped away. All that energy has formed a curse that will go against your own life energy until you eventually die. Hearing that the curse would take his life, everyone felt dazed. So Long Chen really was going to die? Li Xiangxuan, having used the reincarnation mirror, you weren't even able to protect a single disciple. Boss Bao cursed furiously. It really was my negligence, sighed Li Xiangxuan. In the end, he hadn't managed to have absolute control over things. At that time, he had been busy making sure his side was protected, and he hadn't expected Ji Yuai Yan to unleash such a move. As for the dwarf, although he had been surprised by Ji Yuai Yan's actions, he had clearly been prepared. He hadn't given Li Xiangxuan any chance to use the reincarnation mirror to save Long Chen. But saying those things now was meaningless. You think just saying it was your negligence will make things fine. You raged Boss Bao. Boss Bao, this matter has nothing to do with the Xuan Master. Long Chen extended a hand to stop the bosses. He understood their characters. They had explosive tempers. And that could easily harm their relationships. Long Chen continued. To have been able to handle things to this extent is probably something only the Xuan Master could have done. No one else could have done better. In this world, there is no perfect plan, and unexpected things always occur. Now that it has already happened, arguing about things is meaningless. Xuan Master, do you have any way to break or suppress the underworld soul ghost curse? Life devouring blood right. Hearing this question, everyone turned toward the Xuan Master. This related to Long Chen's life or death. Their hearts clenched. Li Xiangxuan said, There is a way to break it, but it might as well not exist. To remove this curse, the only method is to allow your life energy to become greater than the life energy within the curse. Hearing this, everyone's hearts turned cold. What kind of joke was this? How could a single person's life energy be greater than the sum of so many corrupt experts? There had even been the partial life energy of seven life star experts. No wonder Li Xiangxuan said that this method might as well not exist. As for suppressing it, once we return to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, I can activate the Zhuanshan formation. That way the Zhuanshan tower will be able to suppress the curse. However, that means you will always have to stay within the Zhuanshan tower. You'll have to cultivate until your life energy surpasses the curses, said Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen sighed, to possess that much life energy, he would have to advance to the life star realm at the very least. But how could that be possible? What about his tribulations? Xuan Master, what if I had a group of wood cultivators constantly replenish my life energy? Would that be able to resist the curse? 
probed Long Chen. Everyone's eyes brightened, but Li Xiangxuan shook his head. You're underestimating the curse. This is a curse of absolute death. At the same time as it counteracts your life energy, it will counter your soul, your physical body, your karmic luck, and every other factor. That was why Ji Yuai Yan was so arrogant as to say your death was certain. However, the curse will only activate after it sleeps in your body for three days. That's why you don't feel anything now. Li Xiangxuan's words extinguished Long Chen's final hope. Originally, he had thought that if it was just a matter of replenishing life energy, he could just kill some magical beasts and revive the iron spruce oaks. But it seemed he had underestimated Ji Yuai Yan's methods. Then since that's the case, Long Chen, you should go back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect with the Zhuanshan Tower's power. Protecting you should be no problem. Just properly cultivate in the Zhuanshan Tower until you reach the Life Star Realm. Then we'll go slaughter some of those bastards from the corrupt path, said Boss Bao. Right now, this was the only option. Long Chen sighed. This was not a solution as his tribulations were all exceedingly difficult. Furthermore, the fifth star still refused to appear, and without it, the higher his cultivation base, the more his physical body would be unable to bear his own power, he would instead turn into a cripple, but he didn't tell them that, to avoid worrying others, he smiled, bosses, don't worry, my life won't be lost so easily it was a strange feeling, although this underworld soul ghost curse, life devouring blood right had been clearly described to him and was definitely terrifying, Long Chen didn't feel a sensation of fatal danger, and Li Xiangxuan also wasn't panicking. His expression was still calm. It was because of that calm expression that the bosses were infuriated. If Li Xiangxuan didn't have the reincarnation mirror, perhaps they'd have already started fighting. All right then, we'll leave then. When we have time, we'll come and find you to drink wine. Boss Bao patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Why don't you all come to the Zhuanshan Dao sect for a few days? Suggested Li Xiangxuan politely. It's not meant to be. We're not able to piss in the same pot as you people. It wouldn't be good if we started fighting. Boss Bao shook his head. He understood his own faults clearly. Ah, speaking of which, I never had a chance to ask. How were your gains in Devil Spirit Mountain this time? Boss Bao suddenly recalled that Long Chen, Bao Buping and Chang Hao had only just come out of Devil Spirit Mountain when the battles began. They had never had a chance to talk because of it. Our gains were very plentiful. Long Chen smiled. Haha, <laughs> good. Then Long Chen, we're going. Boss Bao and the others said goodbye to Long Chen and left just like that without any extra pleasantries. Once they left, Li Xiangxuan unleashed the light of the reincarnation mirror. Long Chen felt his body lighten as he entered the reincarnation mirror's space. The reincarnation mirror possessed its own space. From within it, it was possible to see everything outside clearly, but the outside wasn't able to see the inside. The reincarnation mirror vanished from Devil Spirit Mountain. Not long after it felt, many experts arrived in front of Devil Spirit Mountain. Seeing the destruction around Devil Spirit Mountain and sensing the terrifying auras that had been left behind, they were indescribably shocked. These were people from the various small sects and powers in the surroundings who had been drawn over by the disturbance. But what they saw was completely unbelievable. News of the battle in front of Devil Spirit Mountain quickly spread. This news shook many experts, and people quickly came to investigate. They found corpses of many corrupt experts as well as broken weapons of the righteous path. In the end, they concluded that there had been a righteous and corrupt battle here. As for the details, no one knew. So now they were just waiting for more news, because they knew that someone would come out to say who it was very soon. The righteous path's experts always had to show proof of the corrupt experts they had killed in order to get rewards from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen and the others returned to the Zhuanshan Plaza, seeing this familiar scene. Long Chen felt a special emotion. His return even shook the entire Zhuanshan Dao sect, as inner sect disciples and outer sect disciples rushed over. But their enthusiasm was cut short by Li Xiangxuan. Right now, Long Chen needed to go into seclusion to handle some things. If they wanted to celebrate, there would be time later. As for the Dragonblood Legion and the others who had participated in the battle, they were all exhausted. 
They needed to rest. This battle had been ruthless. But the Dragonblood Legion could be proud of the fact that even after such a terrifying battle, they had maintained a zero casualty count. But there were two exceptions to that. One was Long Chen, while the other was Yu Zifeng, who still didn't possess the slightest aura of life. However, Li Xiangxuan had personally examined him and said that Yu Zifeng was in a state of special comprehension. There was no danger to his life, so no one was to disturb him. Long Chen was brought to the top of the Zhuanshan Tower by Li Xiangxuan. This was a forbidden land in the Zhuanshan Tower. Divine light swirled around this special space. Long Chen could vaguely make out stars moving in the sky, as if he had stepped above the nine heavens. Just as Long Chen was shocked by this scene, Li Xiangxuan said, Senior, disciple needs your help. Now Long Chen was truly shocked. With Li Xiangxuan's status, he actually had to call himself a disciple and ask for help? Just who was he talking about? Is it for this child? A voice suddenly rang out. This was not a true voice, but a spatial fluctuation. This was not the voice of a human. Yes, Long Chen is the most outstanding disciple in the history of the Zhuanshan Dao sect senior. Please help him suppress the curse he is afflicted with, said Li Xiangxuan. There's no need. He can suppress it himself. After saying that, a gentle light enveloped Long Chen. His expression suddenly changed as sharp pain came from every part of his body. It was like millions of leeches were crazily sucking his blood, flesh, and even his soul. Senior Li Xiangxuan was startled. The one he was speaking to was the Zhuanshan Tower's item spirit. But the Zhuanshan Tower had actually activated the curse sleeping within Long Chen's body. Buzz. Suddenly, space trembled and chanting filled the air. When that chanting appeared, Li Xiangxuan became dumbfounded. The Nirvana Scripture, Chapter 1302 The Final Radiance of the Setting Sun Translator Born to be intense pain racked every inch of Long Chen's body as if millions of bloodthirsty creatures were devouring his life energy. Not only was it absorbing his flesh and blood, but it also devoured his life energy and spiritual strength. Long Chen felt that he didn't have the slightest ability to resist. He could only allow this sinister curse to take his life. Just as he was preparing to circulate the nine-star hegemon body art to see if it could resist it, the Nirvana scripture activated on its own. Sacred chanting filled the air, and flame runes revolved around Long Chen. A sacred aura grew and suppressed the curse. Only then did Long Chen manage to sense millions of tiny runes spread throughout his body. Runes so small that they couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it wasn't for his extremely powerful soul it would have been impossible to even sense their existence. Just now, these runes had crazily devoured his life energy, but now that the Nirvana scripture was suppressing them, the runes grouped up, like thieves that had been caught, they obediently spat out the life energy they had absorbed. Once those runes became calm, the Nirvana scripture also ceased activating. The curse was suppressed just like that. The Nirvana scripture is able to suppress the underworld soul ghost curse. Li Xiangxuan was stunned. He was someone who knew who Long Chen was. Such a person should have been fated to not die to the hands of another expert. And so he had assumed that there would be something capable of suppressing the underworld soul ghost curse. But according to his predictions, it should have been the Zhuanshan Tower. He hadn't expected Long Chen to be able to suppress it even without the Zhuanshan Tower's assistance. Although Li Xiangxuan considered his calculations to be as flawless as possible, there were many things he couldn't see through when it came to Long Chen. Seeing those runes in his body being suppressed, Long Chen was delighted. But then the Zhuanshan Tower said, Don't get too happy. The Underworld Soul Ghost Curse is one of the corrupt path's supreme dark magics. It's not so easy to handle. Try circulating your spiritual yuan, obeying the Zhuanshan Tower. Long Chen had only just started circulating his spiritual yuan when his expression changed. Those suppressed curse runes suddenly seemed like worms that had been woken from hibernation. They once more began crazily devouring his life energy. At this moment, the Nirvana scripture once more activated, suppressing them. What Long Chen's expression became unsightly. Was this supposed to mean that he couldn't use spiritual yuan in the future? Then wouldn't he be a cripple? The Nirvana scripture is an immortal scripture passed down from the immortal era. It's split into three volumes. 
you've only learned the first volume, which is the introductory volume. Its power is limited, so it can only suppress the underworld soul ghost curse, not remove it, said the Zhuangshan Tower. Senior, how can Long Chen remove the curse then? asked Li Xiangxuan. Li Xiangxuan was extremely respectful to the Zhuangshan Tower. The Zhuangshan Tower was a divine item left behind by the Zhuangshan ancestor. It had fought for a lifetime alongside the Zhuangshan ancestor and had seen the passing of countless years. So the Zhuangshan Tower possessed the highest status in the Zhuangshan Dao sect everyone, including Li Xiangxuan, had to be respectful to it. It was different from the reincarnation mirror. The reincarnation mirror had been the weapon of the second generation patriarch of the Zhuangshan Dao sect although it was also a divine item. It could not be compared to the Zhuangshan Tower. The difference between them was that one was a core sect divine item, while the other was just a protector. The Zhuangshan Tower always stayed in the Zhuangshan Dao sect it never appeared in the outside world. So many people had already forgotten its history. They thought that the Zhuangshan Tower was nothing more than the core of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's grand formation. Instead, it was the reincarnation mirror that dazzled others. That was because in all the historical battles, it was the reincarnation mirror that had appeared and shaken the central plains. But in truth, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's most terrifying divine item was the Zhuangshan Tower. I can't do anything, and neither can the reincarnation mirror. If I tried to forcibly extract the curse, it would also extract Long Chen's life. The curse is inextricably intertwined with Long Chen's soul and body. There's no way for an external force to remove it, said the Zhuangshan Tower. Senior, if I obtain the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, would I be able to completely remove the curse? Asked Long Chen. His hope rekindled, because he knew right where he could find the second volume. In truth, you're at a disadvantage because of your low cultivation base. If you were at the Jade Core Realm, even just the first volume of the Nirvana scripture would be able to remove this curse. But now, without being able to cultivate spiritual yuan, obtaining the second volume of the Nirvana scripture is your only option, said the Zhuangshan Tower. Long Chen nodded. If that was the case, he had some confidence. It seemed he would have to take a trip to Pill Valley. Since you'll be able to suppress the curse, you should go and rest. As for the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, I'll help you think of something later, said Li Xiangxuan. All right, then this disciple will take his leave. Long Chen left the Zhuangshan Tower just like that. Once he was gone, Li Xiangxuan said, Senior, what do you think? After a pause, the Zhuangshan Tower said, The appearance of a heaven defier signifies the world is already in the midst of a silent transformation. The chi flow of the world is no longer flowing normally. For so many heavenly geniuses to rise at the same time, it signifies a great era has arrived. This is the best era, as well as the worst era. To have gambled everything on Long Chen, you really have some guts. Your guts are probably greater than all the patriarchs of the past. Li Xiangxuan bitterly smiled. I had no choice. The corrupt path is amassing power and Pill Valley is trying to control the righteous path from behind the scenes. In the current era, the only power that can contend against Pill Valley is the Huaian sect but the Huaian sect style is too restrained. Although they've gone against Pill Valley all these years, they've never shown their true intentions. There's no way to judge them. Furthermore, my observation of the Central Plains these years has revealed that certain powers that have been in hibernation for tens of thousands of years, Ancient sects on the verge of vanishing without a trace, have shown signs of gradually recovering. The ancient race alliance, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts. Although everything looks calm now, there are hidden undercurrents flowing within the continent. I can already smell the scent of danger. Other than that, strange signs have even been coming from the seven danger zones. I've even heard that those supreme divine martial clans at the peak of the martial path have started to ask some questions about the current cultivation world. Everything points to a change of era. If we continue to stay conservative, the Zhuangshan Dao sect will probably be destroyed. Change is necessary for evolution. Different eras require different methods to survive. Your strategy isn't wrong. However, to bet everything on a heaven defier is truly dangerous. 
You should know that the endings of all the heaven defiers recorded in history are incomparably miserable. None of the people by their side had good endings, said the Zhuangshan Tower. I know, but for some unknown reason, when I see Long Chen, it feels like I can see a new future. It's a strange feeling, but I trust he can create a miracle. I've always relied on my experience and calculations in the past, but the first time I saw Long Chen, I had a strong feeling that the world would dramatically change because of his existence. If I was only responsible for myself, I would definitely be like one of his people and go all out supporting him. However, the fate of the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect is in my hands. That's a great deal of pressure, said Li Xiangxuan. The Zhuangshan Tower said, so that's why you want to ask what I think. Yes, I truly want to hear your opinion. I am nothing more than an item spirit. Although I've lived for countless years, I have no ability to see the future, so I can't give you any advice. I've experienced era after era. I've seen the martial heaven continent rise and fall, again and again, but I've never encountered such a feeling. The chi flow of the world has given birth to countless heavenly geniuses. The reincarnation mirror has also said that the flow of fate has become muddled. A great era has silently arrived, and more and more monsters will appear. Each generation of a great era will have an expert trample over countless corpses to reach the peak of the martial path. That one person will suppress the entire world and lead that generation. They are given a resounding title, Sovereign. Since the last Sovereign disappeared in the long river of history, countless years have passed, and never again did a figure strong enough to dominate their entire era appear again. It wasn't because those people weren't strong enough but because the martial heaven continent's chi flow wasn't enough to give birth to another sovereign. But this time is different. The chi flow of the continent has changed, almost like, like the final radiance of the setting sun, said Li Xiangxuan. Yes, just like the final burst of light before the world turns dark. This great era will be greater than any of the past. If my senses are correct, this will be the final great era of the martial heaven continent Li Xiangxuan's heart pounded violently, although he had also sensed some clues. Hearing the Zhuangshan Tower's reply still shocked him indescribably. Once the great era passes, there will only be two possibilities. One is that the martial heaven continent will be destroyed, becoming a land of death. The other is that the sun will rise again, the withered tree will bloom once more in spring, and the phoenix will undergo nirvanic rebirth a new era will come. Unfortunately, we know too little about the martial heaven continent. If only the five grand divine items that maintained the entire continent's karmic luck hadn't vanished, they definitely know more secrets, said the Zhuangshan Tower. Then what should we do now? asked Li Xiangxuan. I don't know. The Zhuangshan Tower's reply was direct, making Li Xiangxuan bitterly smile. But then the Zhuangshan Tower continued. The arrival of the Great Era means that heavenly geniuses will begin displaying their dazzling brightness. No one can predict the future. Since that's the case, why not go all out? Li Xiangxuan smiled. The Zhuangshan Tower had essentially approved of his own thinking. With its support, his confidence rose. Many thanks. Senior Li Xiangxuan bowed deeply and left the Zhuangshan Tower. When he returned to his private room, he summoned Liu Kang. Chapter 1303 Complicated Translator Born to be Xuan Master, Liu Kang bowed. Have you calculated the Zhuangshan Dao sect's losses in this battle yet? Asked Li Xiangxuan. Yes. A total of 29 soul transformation experts and 631 Jade Core elders died. Also, 7 people are left with only their Yuan spirits. The Dragonblood Legion suffered no casualties but 16 Foundation Forging Disciples fell, reported Liu Kang. This had been a fierce battle. The difference in numbers between the two sides had been immense. In order to give their talented disciples opportunities, the Jade Core Elders had sacrificed themselves. It could be said that without them, there would have been no way Meng Chi, Tang Wan or Gu Yang, and the others could have gone all out slaying the corrupt soul transformation experts. Although they had immense killing power, their defensive power was too low. As soon as they approached a soul transformation expert, there was danger of them being killed instantly. That was why a major reason for their victory was because of these fallen elders. 
Yu Zifeng had seen so many elders dying one by one, and that was why he hadn't hesitated to use such a destructive move to kill so many soul transformation experts. He had won them precious breathing room. Even before saving Meng Qi in that battle, Yu Zifeng had already activated a secret art, which had allowed him to kill several soul transformation experts, all in one blow, that had caused the corrupt experts' hearts to turn cold and blunt their sharpness. His contributions definitely couldn't be overlooked. The sect protecting pavilion truly made the greatest contributions this time. Li Xiangsu inside. Those elite elders that had died had mostly come from the sect protecting pavilion. But I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that the Dragonblood Legion's display was so shocking this time. It'll probably shake the entire central plains, said Liu Kang worriedly. Such a terrifying legion was something that not only shocked the corrupt path, but even the Zhuanshan Dao sect itself. They had slaughtered almost 30,000 corrupt foundation forging disciples without a single one of them dying. This kind of battle record was so stunning that Liu Kang almost couldn't believe it. Although their rank 8 corrupt celestials had been handled by Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er, there had still been countless powerful geniuses amongst the corrupt path. To use the Blood Moon Devouring Sun formation, the corrupt path had only brought out their elite geniuses. That was why it was so shocking. According to their original plan, the corrupt path was to kill the righteous experts and capture Long Chen. Then they would leave a recording of their powerful formation to stun the righteous path. This was a move the corrupt path used habitually. So even the weakest disciples they had brought had been rank 5 celestials. A third of them had been rank 6 and over a thousand had been rank 7. As for rank 8 celestials, they had brought 47 of them. Such a terrifying lineup had been annihilated by the Dragonblood Legion. And yet, most of the Dragonblood warriors were just rank 5 celestials. According to reason, they should have been heavily suppressed by the Heavenly Deus and unable to use their full power. But it was the corrupt army that was annihilated instead. What Liu Kang didn't realize was that Long Chen had long since anticipated a day would come when they would have to fight celestials with higher ranks than them. That was why he had made them go through tribulation together and intentionally provoked the heavenly deos into unleashing their divine pressure. That was to increase everyone's potential, to make them give birth to the courage that would dare to go against the heavenly deos. So although heavenly Dao pressure could affect the Dragonblood Legion's combat power, it wouldn't affect their killing intent. Furthermore, the effect of their greater celestial ranks had been ruined by Gui Yan, a rank 9 celestial. Because he had unleashed such terrifying heavenly Dao pressure, everyone had been suppressed. As a result, all the celestials had been equalized. That kind of situation had actually been unfavorable to the corrupt path. That was because Gui Yan's pressure focused a bit more on a person if their celestial rank was higher. To sum it up, the Dragonblood Legion's victory this time was a complicated sum of many factors. That was the only reason they had created such a miraculous accomplishment. But even so, with the Dragonblood Legion's power, any Dragonblood warrior was a genius that would have difficulty finding a match within the same realm. Such a terrifying group would make countless sects and powers envious and uneasy. That was because they were afraid that once the Dragonblood Legion grew up, they would threaten them. The righteous path was full of internal fighting. Some of it was obvious and open, while some was kept secret and in the dark. Before this, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been declining and hadn't been a threat to other sects. So naturally no one had set their gazes on the Zhuanshan Dao sect Novaloon.com but now there was such a terrifying legion growing within them. And that was too conspicuous. If it was just Long Chen rising, that would have been one thing. But now there was a group of over 10,000 disciples rising. Disciples that had the potential to become powerful enemies. Even the sects with decent relations with the Zhuanshan Dao sect were worried. There's no need to bother with that. If we had continued being so cautious, we'd forever be suppressed by others. Starting today, our Zhuanshan Dao sect is saying goodbye to caution. We're going to start advancing without retreat. Li Xiangsuan smiled. Having obtained the Zhuanshan Tower's support had filled him with confidence. Don't bother with the matter of the Dragonblood Legion. Properly record our losses. The names of our fallen disciples are to be carved onto the Zhuanshan Merit Stell. 
If they have descendants, it's up to the Zhuangshan Dao sect to raise them. If they have no descendants, arrange for their relatives to be given the greatest support. After arranging this, go take a trip to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Give them the recording and tell them the number of corrupt experts we killed this time, said Li Xiangxuan. We'll be able to get an ocean's worth of resources. Even Liu Kang was emotional when he thought about how much wealth they would gain. Their gains were just too stunning. The corrupt life star expert and various soul transformation experts captured in the Eastern Sea battle had been equal to a thousand years worth of income for the Zhuangshan Dao sect and this time, they had killed even more. The Martial Heaven Continent's reward system was based on two things, the cultivation bases and the talent of the slain experts. The corrupt path had attacked with a huge army, but when they left, it had just been the dwarf taking away 17 life star experts and a half-dead Gui Yan. The rest had all died, with just one sect's power and the seven bosses of the heaven-splitting battle sect. They had accomplished such a stunning featuring this victory was something for the history books of the righteous and corrupt battles. The corrupt path had lost a life star expert, over 500 soul transformation experts, and over 30,000 elite foundation forging disciples. According to the Martial Heaven Continent's reward system, Liu Kang couldn't even imagine a number that could describe this wealth. Just report the numbers on this trip, but don't get too excited yet or you'll be disappointed. Li Xiangxuan smiled faintly, but his words were like a bucket of ice water over Liu Kang's head. What are you talking about? Asked Liu Kang. This matter isn't so simple. I killed those people from the ancient races and the pill tower. That will cause quite a bit of trouble. The Martial Heaven Alliance isn't as pure and united as you imagine. Any group, once they reach a certain level of power, will have to follow a few unwritten rules. The Martial Heaven Alliance is no exception. Getting our reward this time will probably be very difficult. You should prepare yourself, said Li Xiangxuan calmly. Liu Kang was silent. He wanted to say something, but he swallowed his words. I know, but as I said, since we've chosen to rise, we can't be afraid of everything. If I hadn't killed them at that time, they wouldn't have been grateful. They'd have probably stabbed us in the back once they were saved. Enduring will only bring more humiliation. It's the typical case of giving an inch only for them to take a foot, and then another foot, until you are forced to the end. So even if you gave me another chance, I'd have still done the same thing, said Li Xiangxuan. Li Xiangxuan had already had enough of the pill tower and the ancient races. They actually dared to hunt Long Chen so openly, completely ignoring the Zhuangshan Dao sect if he didn't kill them after such an insult. He wouldn't be Li Xiangxuan. After being bullied to this extent, if they still didn't counterattack, then they really might as well just kill themselves. Other than that, send someone trustworthy to the Huaian sect have them announce how Xuan Jizi harmed those geniuses. I have over 10 cases with absolute proof here. I'll make that idiot Xuan Jizi the target of everyone. Let's see how he attempts to scheme against us now. Li Xiangxuan handed Liu Kang a spatial ring. Xuan Jizi was currently one of the greatest threats to Long Chen, as well as a threat to the Zhuangshan Dao sect this fellow was a hidden danger that needed to be removed. Li Xiangxuan had gathered ironclad proof of his deeds, and there was no way Xuan Jizi would be able to argue against it. Although it was unlikely he would be executed, at least he could show the world who Xuan Jizi was. That way, there wouldn't be as many sects who trusted him. Furthermore, this matter implicated Pill Valley. The Huaian sect would definitely be happy to help. Once no one trusted him, then no matter how he tried to fan the flames, it would be useless. There was no time to capture him now, but once they got past this juncture, it would be time to find that bastard. Just as Li Xiangxuan was plotting everything, Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. Right now, Crouching Dragon Mountain was calm because all the Dragon Blood warriors had been exhausted by the battle and were in seclusion. Long Chen returned to his room, and Meng Chi and Tang Wanner were already waiting for him. Seeing him walk in, Tang Wanner immediately grabbed hold of him tightly, her eyes full of worry. Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, wait, there is something. The Xuan Master said I need to enter the bridal room in order to suppress the curse. Long Chen hastily changed what he was saying. Scoundrel, who do you think would believe you? 
rebuked Tang Wan'er. There was no way she would fall for such a childish lie. She repeatedly beat him on the chest. But his joke made Men Chi and Tang Wan'er's hearts less worried. This underworld soul ghost curse had truly made their hearts clench. That was because they thought of the Yama King blood curse that had killed Little Snow in the immemorial path. Then we can consider the bridal room later. A kiss should be fine. Right. Long Chen was already leaning down, giving Tang Wan'er a deep kiss. Don't. Big sister Men Chi is right there. Tang Wan'er tried to get away. Of course a kiss must be done in front of Men Chi, or it would be like cheating, laughed Long Chen. Despite how bashful Tang Wan'er acted, he didn't let her off without a final kiss on the cheek. Then he turned to Men Chi, who hadn't said anything this entire time. He also gave her a fierce kiss. Men Chi's body quivered as she held him tightly around his waist. Her tears streamed down. Men Chi was a quiet and reserved person, but her feelings for Long Chen ran deep. She had never refused Long Chen. He was her everything. If he could live, she wouldn't ask for anything else. Sorry about everything. Seeing those tears stream down Men Qi's peerlessly beautiful face, Long Chen was filled with pain. A simple apology felt completely meaningless. Tang Wan'er's eyes were also red. Her greatest hope was that Long Chen would forever stay by their side. Today is a happy day. I've brought you both gifts. Long Chen suddenly smiled. Chapter 1304 Supreme Treasure Myriad Spirit Diagram Translator Born to be having gathered with everyone again. This should be a happy time. Long Chen took out a translucent crescent moon blade. The blade was over a foot long and looked like crystal. But the curious thing was that it had no hilt. It was just a blade. It was as thin as a cicada's wing and as light as a feather. When Long Chen had released it, it had almost floated into the sky. As soon as it appeared, the temperature in the room dropped. A sharp aura made their scalps turn numb. Most importantly, the space around it was starting to twist. Their hair started to be drawn over to it. This is a wind attribute king item. Tang Wan'er was pleasantly surprised to see it. She could sense the wind energy within it that resonated with her own. A king item? I couldn't bring out such a thing. This is an ancestral item. Long Chen grumbled inside. This was a terrifying ancestral item he had specifically prepared for Tang Wan'er, but it had actually been viewed as a king item. But that was only natural. This ancestral item had truly been terrifying. When he had first released it on Devil Spirit Mountain, it had immediately fled. And when he had tried to subdue it, it had fought back so intensely that Long Chen had furiously smashed it with the pot until it was on its last breaths. Only then did it submit. However, even then, it refused to allow Long Chen to place a slave mark on it. Its character was extremely obstinate. It would rather break than bend. Buzz. The crescent moon blade suddenly began to shine. It landed in Tang Wan'er's hands of its own accord. An expression of disbelief appeared on Tang Wan'er's face. It. It actually accepted me as its master. The blade's item spirit had actually willingly accepted her as its master. The item spirit was extremely intelligent. Its character really is like yours. Long Chen smiled. As expected. A person would have a weapon similar to themselves. The blade transformed into a ray of light that entered Tang Wan'er's head. Vanishing. Men Chi almost jumped. Afraid it was harming Tang Wan'er. Long Chen. You're so evil. You almost killed Moonwind. Tang Wan'er rebuked Long Chen. The crescent moon blade had clearly begun to complain about Long Chen's barbaric violence. Cough. Wasn't that just a case of friends not being able to get along without some fighting? said Long Chen awkwardly. Scoundrel, if you bully Moonwind again, I'll beat you. Understood. Tang Wan'er raised her fists menacingly, but she also winked at Long Chen. Long Chen immediately understood. Having become the blade's master, she had to stand up for her weapon. Only then could she comfort the aggrieved item spirit. Goddess Wan'er, this little one would not dare. Just treat this little one as a fart and release him. Long Chen put on a terrified expression and repeatedly bowed deeply with his arms raised in front of him as he begged for forgiveness. Scoundrel. Tang Wan'er turned red. Long Chen's words were too immoral for her to even accept. She beat Long Chen a few times. Perhaps it felt that its new master was truly fierce enough. And seeing her beat the villain Long Chen to the point that he didn't have the slightest ability to resist. 
the blade's item spirit happily entered Tang Wan'er's mind, Xi'an began to nurse its wounds. Long Chen had been ruthless back then, and had almost killed it. Long Chen, where's big sister's gift? said Tang Wan'er suddenly. Foolish girl, do you think ancestral items are like cabbage? To be able to obtain one is heaven-defying luck. You having an ancestral item is the same as me having one. The stronger you get, the stronger your big sister gets, said Men Qi with a sweet smile. Men Qi's peaceful nature made Long Chen feel even more thankful. He immediately took out a feather dress. Don't worry, everyone will get one. Look, what do you think this is? When the feather dress appeared, Men Qi and Tang Wan'er let out startled cries. They were completely captivated by that feather dress shining with all the colors of the rainbow. The feather dress was indescribably grand. Its feathers came from over a hundred different flying beasts. Runes flickered around the dress, making it seem like a goddess's divine clothes. What a beautiful dress. Only big sister's beauty can match such a grand dress, exclaimed Tang Wan'er. This feather dress was too beautiful. No woman could resist. Wan'er. Your defenses are also weak. You should be the one to wear this feather dress. I'm a beast tamer, and I have my magical beasts to protect myself, said Meng Chi. He, big sister, there's no need to be courteous with me. You're the only one who's a match for this dress, laughed Tang Wan'er. Seeing the two of them fighting like this, Long Chen felt it was a bit funny. He felt like the meticulous etiquette they followed was a good thing, but also a bit nonsensical. He didn't say anything. He just smiled as they argued. In the end, when both sides were too embarrassed to go on, Men Chi took the rainbow feather dress. The feather dress surprisingly didn't reject Men Chi at all. It disappeared from her hands and reappeared on her body. When Men Qi's beauty was combined with the feather dress, Long Chen and Tang Wan'er's eyes both shone. Men Chi truly looked like a goddess now. She was unspeakably grand and noble. Big sister. You're very beautiful, praised Tang Wan'er involuntarily. Meng Chi was already stunningly beautiful. Her beauty could bring down a nation. As a soul cultivator, she possessed a natural grand aura. Now with the feather dress, there was no way to describe her. The feather dress vanished from Meng Qi's body, and she smiled. This kind of gift would be welcomed by any woman. He, other than this gift, I have another thing to give you. But this gift is a bit different. A scroll appeared in Long Chen's hands. He slowly opened it, revealing its contents. There were countless beasts depicted on the scroll. Each of them looked so lifelike that it felt like they might jump out of the painting at any moment. Once the scroll was opened, a terrifying pressure was unleashed from it which made Men Qi and Tang Wan'er pale. This scroll's power could easily annihilate them. This is the Myriad Spirit Diagram. It is something I obtained by chance in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant. Novaloon.com Long Chen gave a simple recount of how he had obtained the Myriad Spirit Diagram and his encounter with that mysterious elder. The Myriad Spirit Diagram is the accumulation of that senior's cultivation. He comprehended his Tao by walking the path of beasts. Coincidentally, that senior was also a beast tamer. His true body comprehended the Tao and ascended using his Tao of 10,000 beasts countless years ago. He left behind the Myriad Spirit Diagram as his inheritance for a destined person. Back then, when he said he was waiting for a destined person, I thought he was actually not going to give it to me. But then the senior said that I could find the destined person, and the first person I thought of was you. Long Chen smiled, hearing that it came from someone who had ascended. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were completely shocked. After ascending, didn't a person become a god or immortal? Men Qi, take a look and see if you can comprehend it, said Long Chen. Men Qi nodded. First, she placed the Myriad Spirit Diagram in the air and respectfully bowed to it repeatedly. She was using the most formal, most solemn etiquette of three bows and nine kowtows. Although she hadn't gained anything from it yet. Just the pressure that came from it told her it was definitely a divine item. The inheritance left behind by an ascender was definitely enough to make the entire continent crazy. Now that Men Qi had obtained this inheritance, it was essentially the same as taking that elder as her master. This etiquette was naturally necessary. Long Chen and Tang Wan'er also bowed once. They treated it as bearing witness to this. When Men Qi finished her final bow, 
the myriad spirit diagram suddenly let out a ray of light that enveloped her. Countless runes revolved around her, emitting a divine aura. Menki's face instantly turned pale, causing Long Chen to jump. It's fine. This is the myriad spirit diagram's way of passing on its inheritance. But my cultivation base is too low, so I can't take it all in, said Menchi. After saying that, the runes vanished. Menchi was still pale, but she was delighted. Long Chen, this myriad spirit diagram is a supreme treasure. Although my spiritual strength is limited and I could only comprehend a portion of its mysteries, it's still enough to benefit me for a lifetime said Meng Chi, forming a hand seal. A certain bird on the myriad spirit diagram lit up, startling Long Chen and Tang Wan Er. It's the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. That bird image was of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow, but the feathers on it were covered in countless ancient runes that made it look not quite the same as Cloud's mother. Cloud, come out. Cloud suddenly flew out. Long Chen jumped. If Cloud came out, wouldn't this room cease to exist? but he was surprised to see that Cloud was actually only the size of an ordinary sparrow. It hopped onto Menki's shoulder. It had actually learned how to control its size. Go in. This is the most complete inheritance of your cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, said Menchi. Cloud flew toward the scroll. Once it got close, it shrank and entered the scroll, merging into the image of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. The myriad spirit diagram contains the most complete inheritances of 10,000 spirit beasts gathered by that senior. Cloud's race is being hunted down, causing their inheritance to no longer be complete. The myriad spirit diagram can make up for that, said Meng Chi with excitement. If Cloud learned all of its inheritance, its combat power would probably rise to a terrifying level. However, her own power was lacking and there were many parts of the myriad spirit diagram that she was unable to unlock. There were marvelous soul arts and cultivation techniques inside. She had only peered into a very small portion of the inheritance, and would need more time to study it. Three days passed in the Zhuanshan Dao sect before Long Chen gathered all the dragon blood legion. It was about time for them to advance to the Jade Core Realm. Chapter 1305 Collective Advancement Translator Born to be the Dragonblood Warriors had all reached the peak of the Foundation Forging Realm. People like Meng Chi and Tang Wan Er had long since possessed the qualification to attack the Jade Core Realm. But without Long Chen, they hadn't gone through with their advancements. They had been waiting for his return. If they had wanted to advance, at least half the Dragonblood Legion would have advanced to kings. Then the last righteous and corrupt battle wouldn't have been so bitter. They would have definitely suppressed their opponents. But the Jade Core Realm involved breaking the Immortal Platform to condense the Divine Core. It was an extremely important process with a high chance of failure. It was different from other realms where if you failed an advancement, you could just accumulate resources and energy to try again. You would only get one shot at the Jade Core Realm. You needed to burst through it. By destroying the foundation of your Immortal Platform, you would condense it all into a core. The most difficult part about this was that as you condensed your jade core, you would have to undergo the baptism of heavenly tribulation. Without powerful willpower, your odds of succeeding when you were disturbed by heavenly tribulation were low. If you failed at condensing your core and had already destroyed your immortal platform, you would essentially be crippled. You would no longer have any chance of advancing to the jade core realm. The reason the Dragonblood Warriors had cultivated so quickly was because the Zhuanshan Dao sect had gone all out raising them. Through the Battle of the Eastern Sea, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had obtained a huge amount of resources from the Martial Heaven Continent, and they had essentially spent all those resources on this generation's disciples, especially the Dragonblood Legion. When it came to the Dragonblood Legion, if they wanted something, the sect would immediately go all out helping them get it. And the Dragonblood Legion truly hadn't disappointed the Zhuanshan Dao sect in this righteous and corrupt battle. Li Xiangxuan's foresight had once more proven to be invaluable. About two days of travel outside the Zhuanshan Dao sect, Li Xiangxuan was floating in the air, looking at the Dragonblood Legion gathered on top of a distant mountain. His eyes were full of anticipation. The Dragonblood Legion was only the true Dragonblood Legion when Long Chen was present. When the Dragonblood Legion was complete, 
Just seeing the worship in those disciples' eyes showed how they viewed Long Chen as a godlike existence. That made Li Xiangxuan feel emotional. If combat power was given a numerical value, if one person's power was one, then the power of ten people working together would be nine. The power of one hundred people would max out at around seventy. The more people in a group, the less they would be able to fully trust each other. In fact, the distraction of being on guard from their allies would cause their power to even drop. The sum of 100 people's individual power was 100, but in terms of how much power they could unleash, 70 was a cap. This number was something deduced from the results of countless large battles, and most of the time, a group's combat power wasn't even able to reach that level. The greater the number of people, the greater the drop in ratio. For over 10,000 people, their true power would be about 5,000, and that would be a group of elites amongst elites. Such an elite cultivation army didn't exist in the righteous path. They only existed in the corrupt path. As for the Dragonblood Legion, not only did they bring out 100% of their power even when in such a huge group, with Long Chen's addition, their power would multiply by even up to 10 times. Right now, Long Chen was no longer just the founder of the Dragonblood Legion. He was the Dragonblood Legion's faith. As long as he was present, anything was possible. This time, when the Dragonblood Legion went out to undergo collective tribulation, Li Xiangxuan had personally come to act as a protector. The current Dragonblood Legion was too high attracting, causing countless powers to be uneasy. When righteous experts fought the corrupt path, they were soft persimmons. But when it came to harming themselves and stabbing each other in the back, the righteous path was truly skilled. Therefore, Li Xiangxuan had to go all out protecting them. But in truth, Li Xiangxuan truly didn't have much confidence in being able to protect them any longer. That was because he now noticed that the Dragonblood Warriors were no longer rank 5 Celestials. They had all advanced to become rank 6 Celestials at the very least. There were also 1500 rank 7 Celestials and over 60 rank 8 Celestials. Long Chen had distributed all his high-grade heavenly Tao fruits to the Dragonblood Legion. So many people had died in this battle. Li Xiangxuan finally realized what Long Chen's terrifying trump card was. That was because the number of rank 7 Celestials that had died from the corrupt path perfectly matched the number of the new rank 7 Celestials in the Dragonblood Legion. Li Xiangxuan didn't ask about Long Chen's secrets, nor did he want to know. But when it was so obvious, he could not help but notice even if he didn't want to. He was worried. Long Chen's actions were too obvious this time. Once news of this spread, it would definitely cause huge waves. Pill Valley would definitely try something and most likely on an unprecedented scale. Such a bizarre thing would shake all the central plains. Although Li Xiangxuan did not know of the existence of the heavenly Tao fruits. He knew Long Chen definitely had some heaven-defying ability to snatch a person's heavenly Tao seed. Otherwise, there was no way the Dragonblood Legion could advance at such a terrifying rate. Long Chen's actions this time were too obvious for anyone to overlook. But on the other hand, even if he had wanted to conceal it, there was little chance of locking down this kind of news. After all, there were far too many people in the Zhuanshan Tao sect Long Chen had simply directly distributed the heavenly Tao fruits. Not only did he give them to the Dragonblood Legion, but even Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen, Mu Qingxuan, and Su Mo had become rank 8 Celestials. Although they weren't members of the Dragonblood Legion, they had fought alongside each other multiple times. They had long since become people Long Chen could fully trust. However, what he had given them was not the heavenly Tao fruits but something he called Heavenly Tao Wine. He had crushed the Heavenly Tao fruits and merged it with the wine. It had the same effect. Now standing in front of everyone that was staring at him with fervent gazes, Long Chen felt a grand feeling. Having this group of life and death brothers made this life worth it. Brothers, take your medicinal pills. It's the same old rules. The Heavenly Daos are just a fart. So fully unleash your power, said Long Chen. Yesterday. Long Chen had spent a whole day refining pills with the blazing dragon cauldron. He had given everyone here an exploding blaze foundation breaking pill. This was different from the advancement pills he had refined before. 
This exploding blaze foundation breaking pill was an 8th tier medicinal pill, but it wasn't used for attacking the barrier. In truth, this pill was pretty much poison. After you consumed this pill, your immortal platform would completely crumble. This was the first step to advancing to the Jade Core Realm, and it was an extremely important step. The more complete the immortal platform's destruction, the more energy could be used to condense the Divine Core, and the stronger it would be. The Divine Core formed on the foundation of the broken immortal platform. If the immortal platform was not fully destroyed, there would be a large amount of energy left behind in it that wouldn't be absorbed by the Divine Core. That would be a large flaw. Guo Ran looked at the pill in his hand and shivered. It was a giant pill, and a top grade one at that. It was emitting a frightening aura. This giant pill had so much energy violently surging within it that if it hadn't been Long Chen who had given it to them, Guo Ran would suspect it was a bomb. This thing probably had enough energy to make a foundation forging expert explode. Could it really be eaten? His scalp crawled. Boss, said Guo Ran hesitantly. He wanted to say that there was no need for him to waste such a precious pill. He didn't walk the normal cultivation path. But in truth, he was just afraid. If you keep wasting time, I'll slap you. Where did so many nonsense words come from? Hurry up and eat it, said Long Chen impatiently. Long Chen understood him far too well. Guo Ran was the ultimate slacker when it came to cultivation. If he could escape pain, he would. Slipping away was his forte. Everyone's brothers. Sigh. I'll help you, said Gu Yan. He took Guo Ran's pill. Gu Yang, you really are my good brother. I Guo Ran first thought that Gu Yang was consuming it for him. But then, Gu Yang stuffed the pill down Guo Ran's throat. The other dragon blood warriors laughed and also swallowed their somewhat frightening pills. Continuous explosive sounds rang out from everyone's dantians. Their expressions all completely changed, and they vomited blood. Don't just stupidly stand there. Work together with the pill's energy to completely turn your immortal platform to bits, called out Long Chen. Following his reminder, they unleashed their auras. They suddenly noticed that even after their immortal platform shattered, their cultivation bases weren't harmed. Instead, their auras grew stronger. If they didn't unleash their auras at this time, they'd explode. As everyone's aura surged, a powerful pressure soared. Long Chen was actually blown away into the distance by that power. Rumble. Heaven and earth turned dark as tribulation clouds covered the sky. Li Xiangxuan's expression changed slightly. Long Chen really has to shake the heavens no matter what he does. I should get further away. Li Xiangxuan had already been thousands of miles away, but he found that the region the tribulation clouds were covering was too great. If he was pulled inside it, it would be troublesome. It was better to distance himself. A torrent of lightning lit up the dark world. Lightning rain began to pour down, but each raindrop was the size of a room. As it landed amongst them, it exploded, unleashing ripples of lightning that made the dragon blood warriors totter. Their expressions changed. This was just the first wave. How was it already so powerful? There's nothing to be surprised about. This is the Jade Core Tribulation. When condensing the Divine Core, the heavenly tribulation will contain a trace of divine energy, that will be the crux of becoming an immortal or god in the future. That's why it's much stronger than before Long Chen didn't feel any shock from this level of thunder force. He gave them a simple explanation to calm them down. Since your immortal platforms have already been destroyed, don't waste time. The sooner you go through the tribulation, the sooner we can go back, said Long Chen. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan. Wang Zhen, Mu Qingxuan, and Su Mo, the people who had never gone through tribulation like this, all jumped in shock. All right, take a look, boss. Gu Yang laughed and his aura erupted. A powerful aura charged into the clouds. Seeing Gu Yang's actions, Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the others all turned pale. How was this going through tribulation? Wasn't it just suicide? As expected, having been provoked by Gu Yang. The tribulation clouds in the sky rumbled, and the might of the heavenly deos descended. The heavens were enraged. Chapter 1306 Perfect Advancement Translator Born to be the furious pressure of the heavens made the world seem to solidify. A heavy rock crushed all their hearts. 
Hua Xiaoyu and the others had an urge to prostrate themselves to the heavens. In front of the fury of the heavens, they felt themselves to be minute. If they resisted, they would be annihilated by the heavenly deos. Hua Xiaoyu and the others were pale as paper and full of terror. This was due to their innate reverence for the heavenly deos. But they saw that the dragon blood legions people were all calm. They were all unleashing their auras against the pressure of the heavenly deos. No wonder they can ignore the pressure of higher rank celestials. Hua Xiaoyu and the others finally understood why even the ordinary dragon blood warriors had been able to fight rank 6 and even rank 7 celestials. So it was the result of this. No matter how strong the celestial, there was no way their heavenly Tao pressure could compare to the true pressure of the heavenly Deos. This destructive will inside the lightning tribulation was something anyone would cower before. However, Long Chen was leading his people to go against the heavenly tribulation. It was to temper their wills. But while the dragon blood warriors had experienced going against the heavenly Deos, Hua Xiaoyu and the others hadn't. They felt an innate pressure in their souls that made them unable to do so. And yet, since they were undergoing tribulation with the dragon blood legion, they had no choice even if they didn't dare. They could only force their way through. Bolts of lightning began to smash down like huge mountains. The lightning would explode when it struck the land, and there were already some people who were coughing up blood. The Jade Core tribulation was powerful even without any other factors. But now, Gu Yang the one with the strongest aura here, had taken the initiative to provoke the heaven's fury. The pressure was at least ten times greater. Even though people were injured, there were still the healing experts present. As wood cultivators, lightning was their bane. Their wood energy was life energy. While this lightning contained destructive energy, they were the ones to be injured first. Basically, all the healing experts were women. Although they all coughed up blood, not one of them had a worried expression. They still stood tall. After experiencing the last tribulation, they had realized that undergoing tribulation in this manner brought with it countless benefits. The destructive energy in the tribulation was something that could stimulate their wood energy and make it purer. They now knew that each extra breath that they could endure during this lightning tribulation was another bit stronger they got. This was a rare opportunity. Under the baptism of the heavenly tribulation, all the immortal platforms in their dansions completely shattered and rapidly formed a golden sphere. That was the mark of a jade core expert, the divine core. Those small little spheres already possessed a grand and majestic energy. As the sphere grew, each of their auras grew stronger. Don't be in a rush to absorb the spiritual chi in the air. Focus on using the thunder force to temper your divine cores. Completely destroy any vestiges of your immortal platform's runes. That's the only way for you to advance perfectly, reminded Long Chen. When advancing to the Foundation Forging Realm, many people were unable to advance perfectly, but the flaws left behind in the Foundation Forging Realm could be made up for when advancing to the Jade Core Realm. Long Chen was paying close attention to the changes in their auras and silently learning from them. This was something he would also have to undergo. At this time, Lai Long didn't even wait for Long Chen's call. It directly flew out and began to greedily absorb the thunder force around Long Chen. Long Chen told it that it could absorb the energy as it wished as long as it didn't disturb the others from their tribulations. Lai Long urgently needed to increase its power. The difference between it and Huo Long was getting too big. After an incense stick's worth of time, once everyone had gotten used to this level, Gu Yang once more increased his aura, causing the tribulation's power to increase again. This time, the healing experts were truly at their limit, but they were also unyielding, and even under the violent attacks of the lightning, despite the blood pouring from their mouths, they bitterly endured. Even Long Chen felt some heartache at seeing them push themselves like this. As female wood cultivators, the pain they had to undergo during this tribulation was over ten times the others. If you can't handle it, don't push yourself. Come over here, called out Long Chen. Boss we can still handle it. Just give us a bit more time. These stubborn women refused to admit defeat. They held on as if their lives depended on it. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the others were all full of admiration for them. They were wood cultivators who possessed weak physical bodies. Even Mu Kingsuan had long since felt like she had reached her limit. 
but seeing her junior apprentice sister still obstinately holding on, she clenched her teeth and pushed through it. Just seeing her like that distressed Sumo, but he wasn't able to help. In the end, Mu Kingsuin wasn't able to endure any longer. The Thunder Force had already invaded her meridians, and she coughed up a mouthful of blood. The next thing the Thunder Force would do was cause her physical body to explode. That made Sumo's expression change. Long Chen waved a hand, and Mu Kingsuin flew over to his side, with Lai Long devouring the Thunder Force around him. This was an absolute safe zone. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuin, you should adjust your condition and stabilize your realm. You've reached your limit, said Long Chen. Mu Kingsuin nodded palely. She knew she had truly reached her limit. Any more and she'd have exploded. The only thing that made her feel a bit unwilling was that she was the first to drop out. The Dragonblood warriors have already experienced the baptism of heavenly tribulation before so they now possess some resistance to it. But it's your first time, so being able to reach this point is already very amazing, comforted Long Chen as if reading her thoughts. After all, she was a heavenly genius from the previous generation. This kind of defeat was a bit unacceptable to her. Being exceeded by her junior apprentice sisters was especially painful, but Long Chen's explanation did comfort her. Gratefully nodding to him, she sat down and closed her eyes. Her divine core had already formed. After leaving the lightning tribulation, the divine core would solidify. Right now, she needed to consolidate her divine core. The healing experts lasted two hours after Mu Kingsuin left. Finally, they were no longer able to hold on and came over to Long Chen's side. They closed their eyes and began to adjust their conditions. Long Chen couldn't help but nod inside. These ladies truly possessed powerful willpower. Even after their divine course had reached a flawless point, they had continued for an incense stick's worth of time, that had greatly increased the purity of their wood energy. They had done this for the Dragonblood Legion. The purer their wood energy, the more effective their healing would be. Long Chen was emotional inside. Each brother and sister of the Dragonblood Legion treated each other sincerely and openly. To be able to have such sisters by his side. His life had not been in vain. Novaloon.com CM once the healing experts had left, Long Chen announced, Now your divine cores are essentially flawless. Hua Shiyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the other side with relief, thinking it was over. But Long Chen's following words almost made their souls flee in terror. Comma, so we can now start the real tribulation. Gu Yang, start going all out. A. Eh, why isn't Guo Ran crying? Long Chen couldn't help being startled. How was that little fellow so quiet this time? Reporting to boss, big brother Guo Ran has already fainted and can't be woken announced a dragonblood warrior. He pointed to the ground where Guo Ran lay. White froth came from his mouth, and there was no way to wake him. Good, then it'll be quieter. Continue. Long Chen nodded. Gu Yang took a deep breath. All of a sudden, the runes around him exploded, and a huge chi pillar soared into the sky. The tribulation clouds quivered. Suddenly, the land rocked. Hua Shiyu and the others were horrified. It was like the tribulation had been slapped in the face, and was now unleashing its true fury. A terrifying pressure filled the world. Do they really want to die? Wang Zhen's face was pale, and Sumo's hair stood on end. He felt like he was already at his limit, but Long Chen refused to let them off. Suddenly, a sea of lightning fell from the sky covering everything within 10,000 miles. Lightning beasts filled the sea and attacked them. Brothers. Kill. What made Wang Zhen and Sumo feel like they were going insane was that the Dragonblood warrior's eyes actually reddened, and they charged at those lightning beasts with overflowing battle intent. These children are insane. The distant Li Xiang Xuan bitterly smiled. Even after living for so many years, he had never seen such an insane group before. Hua Xiaoyu. Ziyan, Wang Zhen, senior apprentice brother Mo, this is a rare tempering opportunity. This is the only way to train resisting the pressure of higher rank celestials, said Meng Qi. Her runes revolved around her, but she didn't attack the lightning beasts. As a soul cultivator, she didn't face her enemies head on. Heavenly Dao pressure wasn't a great threat to her, so she didn't need to attack these beasts. All she needed to do was use this thunder force to temper her spiritual strength. With Menki's reminder, 
Hua Xiao and the others summoned the courage to attack the lightning beasts. Before this, they had only been defending against the tribulation and just waiting for the lightning to stop. They had never dared to actually attack the tribulation. The Dragonblood Legion's method for undergoing tribulation completely toppled their expectations. More and more lightning beasts appeared, but the lightning clouds in the sky grew sparser as well. Long Chen suddenly flew into the air and punched the clouds, but it was ineffective. The lightning tribulation didn't get angry because of him. His current realm was unable to provoke this tribulation. It seemed only those in the Jade Core realm could affect this Jade Core tribulation. It ignored him with his foundation forging realm. Long Chen helplessly sent Lai Long to devour the Thunder Force on the edge. After two hours, the tribulation began to fade. Long Chen comforted Lai Long. Don't be sad. You might not be full this time, but you'll definitely have more than enough to eat when I go through my tribulation. This Thunder Force hadn't allowed Lai Long to advance much. Long Chen hadn't let Lai Long absorb too much Thunder Force because he was worried about affecting everyone's tribulation. As a result, Lai Long wasn't even half full. After the tribulation, everyone's auras were like awakened lions. Their powerful auras even gave Long Chen a sense of pressure. Although they had just advanced to the Jade Core Realm, their auras were extremely strong. They were like sharp blades that had been unsheathed and were unleashing their light. Let's go back. Li Xiangxuan took out the reincarnation mirror and brought them back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect starting today. A legion that would cause the world to shake truly began to rise. Chapter 1307 Wild Enter Slumber Translator Born to be when they returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the Dragonblood warriors entered seclusion to consolidate their cultivation basis. Having just advanced to the Jade Core Realm, their power had grown explosively. Compared to when they had been at the Foundation Forging Realm, their spiritual Yuan had grown by over 10 times in terms of both quantity and quality. They needed to get used to their new power. Everyone in the Dragonblood Legion had advanced to the Jade Core Realm, and it was a perfect advancement. Even Li Xiangxuan felt emotional to see this. These Dragonblood warriors were all elites amongst elites. Not only were they brave warriors who would fight one against a hundred, but they were even monsters who could fight across realms. With such a terrifying group of disciples, there was no point in worrying over whether the Zhuanshan Dao sect could return to its former glory. It would probably surpass any point in its history to reach an unprecedented level. However, the Dragonblood Legion was too conspicuous now. Countless people were envious of them, and most likely, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had become a huge target for many people. But the only thing that didn't draw envy was mediocrity. As long as you stood at a high level, there would definitely be people envious of you that hoped for your downfall. Dirty tricks, scheming, trying to crowd you out. These things were unavoidable. This was the cultivation world. The struggle was endless. If you weren't prepared for such a thing, then you should simply never think of rising. Whether it was a single genius or a whole sect, if they wanted to rise, they would have to face countless enemies. The history of a powerful sect's rising had to be bloody. They rose by climbing the mountain of bones of their enemies. Geniuses were the same. One of the laws of the heavenly deos was that everyone was in competition. Life was a survival of the fittest. To not climb over other people's corpses was to allow others to climb over your corpse. The path of cultivation was one with no turning back. After returning to the Zhuanshan Dao sect and making sure everyone was set, the only one with nothing to do was Long Chen. He was unable to use his spiritual Yuan to cultivate. As soon as he tried, the curse would reactivate. Although the curse wasn't able to threaten his life, it stuck to him like cancer. It was incredibly irritating, and there was no way for him to fight. However, he did find that while he couldn't do anything else, he would be able to circulate his flame energy. The curse wouldn't reactivate as long as he only used his flame energy. His guess was that it was due to the Nirvana scripture. His flame energy wasn't affected by the curse. Otherwise, there would have been no way for him to refine pills for everyone. After everyone went through the tribulation, Long Chen noticed that there was something strange with Wild. Wild was constantly yawning, and his focus was gone. Sometimes Long Chen would be talking to him and he would just start napping. When Long Chen asked Li Xiangxuan what was going on, 
Li Xiangxuan said that Wild was very likely undergoing some kind of metamorphosis that made Long Chen jump. Wild wasn't a magical beast. How could he go through a metamorphosis? Li Xiangxuan said that the true barbarian race only existed in legends. Perhaps they had existed, but they had disappeared from this world. The barbarian race of legends used to eat anything with flesh. Even dragons were eaten by them. Their bodies were similar to magical beasts. They cultivated neither spiritual yuan, true qi, nor the Tao. They were an oddity of the entire world. When their physical strength reached a certain level, their bodies would undergo a metamorphosis. But when undergoing this metamorphosis, they would be like hibernating magical beasts. They would enter a long slumber. Once their metamorphosis was complete, they would automatically wake, and their combat power would have increased massively. However, Li Xiangxuan didn't know what kind of changes would happen. All of this was from the scanty sentences about the barbarian race he had read in ancient texts. No one could say whether it was true or not, but as expected, in just two days, Wilde completely collapsed and entered a deep sleep. He couldn't be woken no matter what. At the same time, the pores on his face and hands began to have slim threads grow out of them. More and more of them appeared until they completely enveloped him in a large cocoon. It seems the legends are true. The barbarian race was exceptionally domineering back in the immortal era. But how could someone from the barbarian race appear now? Didn't they go extinct a long time ago? Wondered Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen had told him about how he had found Wild on the streets in the Phoenix Cry Empire. Feeling him to be pitiable but an honest and sincere person, he had kept him by his side. But now that he looked back on that, Wilde's origins were too mysterious. The barbarian race was clearly extinct. So where had Wilde come from? Who were his parents? Wilde didn't recall his parents. He had been raised in a little rural village by villagers. Then an epidemic had struck the village and they had all died. Only he had survived. It was like a portion of Wilde's memories were missing. His memories started at the age of four or five, and he didn't remember anything before that. Once Wilde comes out of his cocoon, he'll probably be very terrifying, sighed Li Xiangxuan. It seemed a great era had truly descended. Even the legendary barbarian race had appeared. This was an era of all the powers of the world. Li Xiangxuan felt like he had suddenly grown older. Perhaps the future of this era would become the land of these monsters. Long Chen carried the cocoon that was wild into a private room of the Zhuanshan Tower. There was a stone bed in this room, and Yu Zifeng was lying on it, his hands holding his sword. Xuan Master, Zifeng. Long Chen worriedly looked at the lifeless Yu Zifeng. The current Yu Zifeng was essentially an empty husk. He didn't have the slightest sign of life. He is a genius of the sword Dao. He placed his whole heart, mind, and soul into his sword during that battle. However, he hasn't reached that level of power yet. He was able to use that move, but he's not able to do the opposite. Now, his essence is locked within his sword. As for whether he will be able to bring his soul back into his body, it's completely up to him, said Li Xiangxuan. Back then, Li Xiangxuan had been completely stunned by Yu Zifeng's powerful sword arts. Yu Zifeng's killing power had already surpassed the control of heaven and earth. That meant his comprehension of the sword Dao had reached an extremely high realm. But although his realm had reached the level that he was able to use such a terrifying move, his actual power had not reached that level. After placing his soul within his sword, he had managed to bring his power to his peak. And with a single attack, he had killed over 10 soul transformation experts. But being unable to retrieve his soul from his sword, his body had become empty. No one could help him. The only one who could help him was himself. Long Chen placed Wild on another bed. Through Li Xiangxuan's explanation, he no longer felt so much worry for Yu Zifeng. He understood Yu Zifeng well. Although he rarely spoke, his willpower was definitely at the apex of the Dragonblood Legion. Otherwise, there was no way for him to be so outstanding amongst all sword cultivators. The only thing he felt regretful over was that Yu Zifeng hadn't undergone tribulation with everyone. He didn't know if this would leave behind any flaws. But thinking about all this had no meaning now. After making sure the two of them would be safe here, Long Chen was called over by Li Xiangxuan to his personal room. The two of them sat facing each other. 
Li Xiangxuan asked, for you to raise everyone's power so openly. I presume you have some trump card to shut their mouths. Li Xiangxuan felt like Long Chen wasn't so impetuous. According to reason, he should have raised everyone's power in secret. Although it would be noticed sooner or later, stalling for just one day was a good thing. But he had done it so openly and brazenly. Furthermore, the Dragonblood Legion hadn't hidden the marks of their tribulation. All of the Zhuangshan Dao sect knew that the Dragonblood Legion's celestial ranks had increased once more. With Li Xiangxuan's understanding of Long Chen, he was sure Long Chen had done that intentionally. So he wanted to know the whole story so he could prepare as well. Yes, paper isn't able to cover up a fire. Pill Valley has had its gaze on me for a long time now. No matter how carefully I act, they'll still find ways to find trouble for me. Compared to the corrupt path, Pill Valley is far more shameless. They'll just make a random excuse and start making things hard for me. They're the most hateful. So this time, I also want you to spread the news openly. Let's blow this matter up as big as possible and slap Pill Valley in the face, said Long Chen. Pill Valley's people had truly been too shameless. They were despicable and felt no guilt with harming the innocent. He was fed up with them. Long Chen, you should think through this. The second volume of the Nirvana scripture is in Pill Valley's hands, reminded Li Xiangxuan. That's fine. Once I slap them in the face, I'll go learn it. They're two separate matters. Otherwise, if I learned their Nirvana scripture and then slapped them, I'd feel bad. So it's best to first slap them, said Long Chen indifferently. Li Xiangxuan was speechless. What kind of logic was this? Was this supposed to mean that Long Chen wouldn't feel bad learning their art after slapping them? From your tone, you already have a way to handle this, asked Li Xiangxuan. Yes, it shouldn't be a problem. After all, I've had past dealings with Pill Valley. I'm very familiar with their patterns, said Long Chen. He took out a badge from Pill Valley. This was the first place reward he had obtained in the Pill Towers competition back in the Eastern Wasteland. Now it was finally time to use it. Li Xiangxuan nodded. Long Chen's intelligence wasn't inferior to his. As long as his temper didn't get the better of him, he wouldn't lose out. Then since you're so confident, I'll leave it to you. I guess the Zhuangshan Dao sect is about to become very lively. You'll be in charge of slapping their faces and I'll be in charge of cowing them with power. We'll split the work. Li Xiangxuan smiled. Xuan Master, can I ask how much power the Zhuangshan Dao sect has? Ha ha ha, little fellow. You don't need to worry about that. You can go as far as you want. The foundation of the Zhuangshan Dao sect is far greater than you imagine. Although the pill tower is strong, my Zhuangshan Dao sect isn't so easy to bully. When it comes to such a situation, Whoever has more misjivings will suffer more. So since I'm fine with leaving this matter to you, you should know how much confidence I have. It just so happens I can use this chance to properly give a display to those fellows. It can count as my oath to the central plains that the Zhuangshan Dao sect is rising. Anyone who's not afraid of dying can come and try to stop us. Laughed Li Xiangxuan grandly. Ha ha ha. Good. If that's the case, then I'm at ease. I'll properly slap those idiots' faces this time. Long Chen was delighted. With what Li Xiangxuan said, Long Chen's confidence rose. He just happened to be an expert in slapping faces. Chapter 1308 The Crisis of the Zhuangshan Dao Sect Translator Born to be it had been over 10 days since the battle at Devil Spirit Mountain. Countless experts were paying close attention to this matter as they made all kinds of guesses as to who had done this. But on this day, an explosive piece of news spread. The main character behind this matter had been the Zhuangshan Dao sect that had declined to the point that people had almost forgotten about it. When they heard this news, people couldn't believe it. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had already declined. How could it possess such power? Although they hadn't seen the battle personally, just the aftermath and the remnant aura told them that it had been a chaotic battle of over 10,000 people. Just where had the Zhuangshan Dao sect found so many experts? Just as people were doubting this news, a photographic jade began to circulate through the righteous path. When they saw the scenes of that battle, everyone's jaws dropped. The recording contained various parts of the battle. 
there was the Dragonblood Legion slaughtering the corrupt Paths Foundation forging disciples like predators hunting prey. Menchi, Tangwanur, Wild, and the other heavenly geniuses had even stepped foot on the soul transformation battlefield with a group of kings. They had slain consecutive soul transformation experts. Yu Zifeng's attacks had been exceptionally stunning. Those powerful soul transformation experts had been unable to receive a single blow from him. And then there was Long Chen fighting a rank 9 celestial in the air. That was a clash of peak geniuses that shook them all. Just witnessing this recording caused everyone's hearts to pound. The twists and turns of the battle had made them sweat for the Zhuanshan Dao sect but in the end, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had still managed to win. When they saw Long Chen being cursed by Ji Yui Yan's underworld soul blood curse, they all felt pity for him. The underworld soul blood curse was something all the senior cultivators of the righteous path knew of. It was a curse of definite death. There was no way to resolve it. Huge waves immediately began to soar. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's power shook them all. Just how had a declined sect managed to raise a terrifying group of disciples like the Dragonblood Legion? It had to be known that just raising one or two geniuses on that level would require a sect to spend a huge amount of effort and resources. But the Zhuanshan Dao sect had managed to raise a huge group of them without anyone knowing. At the same time as they were shocked, their guards were also raised. The Dragonblood Legion was already so terrifying now. How much more frightening would they be once they advanced to the Jade Core Realm or even the Soul Transformation Realm? With their talent and power, fighting across realms was as easy as eating to them. The people all felt a chill. Not long after this news, another bit of information spread. Right before that battle, the Xuan Master of the Zhuanshan Dao sect had used the reincarnation mirror to kill Pill Valley's expert, Dan Shang as well as a group of ancient race experts. This news was equally shocking. Just what was the Zhuanshan Dao sect planning? They actually dared to offend Pill Valley and the ancient races. Were they mad? Then a third piece of news followed. Long Chen was a variant Heaven Caesar. This news said that Long Chen was definitely a Heaven Caesar, but he was different from the Heaven Caesars that had appeared in history. He bestowed the power he stole from others to the people by his side. The slain celestials had their heavenly Dao seeds extracted by Long Chen to be given to his people. That was why the Dragonblood Legion existed. This news even contained information of Long Chen's growth and his experiences in the Eastern Wasteland. They had investigated all of it. Originally, they had only been a group of over 300 people who had been nothing more than ordinary cultivators. Now those people had advanced to become rank 5 celestials. This news was absolutely stunning. This was a heaven-defying ability that terrified countless people. Long Chen became an existence that all those sects feared, as this kind of ability naturally made people uneasy. Many of them thanked their luck that Long Chen had been cursed by the underworld soul blood curse. He was definitely doomed to die. So they were comforted. And yet, before they could even relax, another piece of explosive news spread. Long Chen hadn't died. He was still alive and well, while the Dragonblood Legion had all advanced to the Jade Core Realm. Furthermore, their celestial ranks had advanced once more. This news shook the entire righteous path. Just the Dragonblood Legion of Rank 5 Foundation forging celestials had been terrifying enough. Now they had become Rank 6, Rank 7, and even Rank 8 celestials. Were they trying to go against the heavens? Now the sects were no longer able to just continue watching. Those sects that had once suppressed the Zhuanshan Dao sect were especially uneasy. After declining, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had been suppressed and humiliated countless times. Countless sects had hit them while they had been down. There was a good expression. It was hard to send coal in the snow, but easy to throw rocks at someone who fell down a well. Once a sect declined, even the sects that had had good relations with them would stab them in the back, let alone the sects that had enmity with them. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's forceful rise caused countless people to feel uneasy. At this time, Pill Valley and the ancient races announced that they would go to the Zhuanshan Dao sect to get an accounting for this matter in three days. Countless people added in their own opinions, condemning the Zhuanshan Dao sect as criminals that needed to be put down. Countless sects expressed their support for this. One reason was to suck up to Pill Valley, while another reason was their selfishness. 
they refused to allow the Zhuangshan Dao sect to rise. These sects had had past relationships with the Zhuangshan Dao sect or simply hadn't been too friendly with them in the past few years. They were afraid of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's rise, so they didn't hesitate to join the army condemning them. You idiots, ignoring whether or not he really is a heaven Caesar. He has killed countless corrupt experts from the eastern wasteland to the central plains. Just how much merit has he made to the righteous path? So what if he's a heaven Caesar? Isn't he a disciple of the righteous path? You're just doing this because you're jealous. It's despicable. There were always some voices that spoke out against this injustice, but they were drowned out by countless other voices. Long Chen is a crazy homicidal devil. Who knows whether or not he'll kill righteous disciples to raise his power. How do you know he only killed corrupt experts to raise the dragon blood legion? Each year, countless geniuses of the righteous path die. It's very likely that many were killed secretly by Long Chen. We can't leave such a scourge exactly. He's a future disaster for the righteous path. The stronger he gets, the more dangerous he becomes. We have to nip this in the bud right now, or it'll affect the unity of the righteous path. The condemnation of Long Chen filled heaven and earth. Long Chen had been described as an irredeemable fiend. Apparently, he was only in the righteous path as a cover-up. Once he was stronger, he would cause a calamity for them. So he had to be gotten rid of now. There were many sharp people in the righteous path who saw through the truth. But the absolute majority chose to wisely look after themselves. Only a small portion had some hot blood left and spoke up for Long Chen. But that portion was pitifully small. It was impossible to hear their voices in this world. And the majority of those people were youngsters without much status behind their words. No one bothered with them. In fact, others thought them to be fools and scoffed at them. But in any case, there was definitely a huge storm brewing. Not only did people feel terrified of Long Chen, but there was even a mysterious hand controlling public opinion behind the scenes. Someone was adding fuel to the fire. Any old foxes could tell that it was Pill Valley. It seemed that Pill Valley was truly enraged this time and was preparing to use the Zhuangshan Dao sect to show the cultivation world their power. By making the Zhuangshan Dao sect the public enemy of the righteous path, Pill Valley would have an excuse to target them. Many people could already smell the scent of blood coming. A calamity was coming for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and it was very likely that it would forever disappear after this storm. Within the central plains, if Pill Valley wanted to target a sect, only a few sects could stand up to them. Now that Pill Valley was raising its blade at an ancient sect like the Zhuangshan Dao sect, countless experts were watching in the dark. Experts from every large sect began to approach the Zhuangshan Dao sect whether it was sucking up or just watching the fun. They wanted to see what the Zhuangshan Dao sect would do. Just how would a sect whose inheritance stretched back countless years act in the face of its death? A surge of experts gathered around the Zhuangshan Dao sect the wind was raging right before the storm arrived. As for within the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the dragonblood warriors all began to exit their seclusion one by one. There was a sharp light in their eyes. Becoming kings made them feel reborn. Long Chen spent these days leisurely. He distributed the ancestral items he had obtained in Devil Spirit Mountain. Gu Yang almost fainted from joy when he received an ancestral item spear. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were given two truncheons. Now that they had reached the Jade Core Realm, they should be able to use their energy to activate ancestral items. Although it would just be a bit of an ancestral item's full power, that was already terrifying enough. There had originally been eight ancestral items to distribute. But Long Chen had detonated two of them. However, now Wild and Yu Zifeng didn't need weapons. So the sword he had been planning to give to Yu Zifeng was instead given to Guo Ran. That way, all the captain class figures in the Dragonblood Legion would have an ancestral item. Guo Ran said that this sword was Yu Zifeng's, but he would temporarily look after it. He could study it, because he was in the midst of studying how to forge ancestral items. Last time. His huge crossbow had been destroyed from a single attack by Ji Yui Yan. One reason was because that attack had also contained Tang Wan'er's power, which gave it extra destructive power. But another reason was because his forging technique was still too lacking. When he had launched that first arrow, 
it had caused an accidental backlash that had destroyed a portion of the crossbow's runes. Otherwise, it wouldn't have exploded. After distributing the weapons, Long Chen also distributed the medicinal wine he had obtained from the Wine God Palace. The wine was perfect for consolidating their cultivation basis. There was also another jug of wine that he gave to Li Xiangxuan. That was the wine personally made by the high priest. If anyone below the Life Star Realm drank it, it would be an absolute waste. The next two days, Long Chen drank and made merry with everyone. They were in the midst of drinking and eating when a cold shout resounded throughout the Zhuanshan Dao sect. I am Pil Valley's law enforcer, Zhuo Xiangxiang. I demand the Zhuanshan Dao sect sect master to come out and face me. Chapter 1309 An Aggressive Star Translator Born to be that cold cry rumbled through the land, and sharp pain twinged in people's ears. This shout clearly contained heavenly Dao energy. This cry spread to every corner of the Zhuanshan Dao sect all the disciples' hearts shook. Whoever it was, the owner of the voice actually directly demanded the sect master to come and greet them. Furthermore, hearing that it was a law enforcer from Pill Valley, they knew that Pill Valley had sent a bigwig. Zhuo Xiangxiang? What a nauseating name. Does he not know I'm in the midst of eating? Cursed Guo ran disgustedly. He had obviously misheard. Our sect master is busy and has no time to greet you. You can come up on your own, or you can scram, shouted Long Chen lazily. Finishing his wine, he said, let's go. Today's going to be lively. Countless people gathered in the Zhuanshan Plaza. Long Chen was seated at a central position, the place where Li Xiangxuan had once sat. Boss, this spot's really good. We can actually look down on everything. Guo Ran stood behind Long Chen. From here, it was possible to see everything within the Zhuanshan Plaza. It was definitely a refreshing view. Today, Guo Ran and the others were profiting from Long Chen to stand here. It had to be known that this place was reserved for Hall Master level experts, and it had to be ones with especially high prestige. Long Chen waited here for whoever it was that had arrived to come. Did they really expect he would go down to greet them? They weren't worth so much. What brat dares to spout such big words? Another person shouted from below the Zhuanshan Dao sect's mountains. But this person was not Zhuo Xiangxiang. I am Long Chen. Stop wasting time helping a dog crap. If you want to come, then come. If you don't, then scram. After giving you face, are you not going to give me this face? Shouted Long Chen rudely. Of course he was rude. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had its own lines of sight. And on his way here, he had long since gotten a view of these aggressive fellows. Li Xiangxuan, is this how your Zhuanshan Dao sect treats guests? Zhuo Xiangxiang's voice rang out once more. His voice was very cold and angry. As Pill Valley's law enforcer, he didn't represent a pill tower, but the true Pill Valley, that was a supreme existence. Anywhere he went, others would flock to him. But now that he arrived at the Zhuanshan Dao sect, no one came to greet him. There are two types of guests. One is a precious guest that naturally must be treated well. We'd even go meet them a thousand miles away just to express our sincerity. But the other type of guest is a crap guest. They're basically dogs in human clothing, and they'll bite others who approach them. For such a guest, let alone our sect master, we won't even send a single disciple to greet them. Being bitten by a dog isn't good replied Long Chen indifferently. His reply was as sharp as a blade. Zhuo Xiangxiang had no way to reply because Pill Valley had truly come to suppress the Zhuanshan Dao sect if Li Xiangxuan came out to greet him. It would be expressing his own weakness. That was why Li Xiangxuan had left this matter to Long Chen. With his understanding of Long Chen, he knew Long Chen was much more proficient at greeting such guests. And as expected, just by opening his mouth three times, they were infuriated. Li Xiangxuan truly had to admire Long Chen for this ability. Even dead people could be angered back to life by Long Chen. And then with another word, they would choke to death. Boom. Suddenly, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's formation quivered. An expert had actually punched the Zhuanshan Dao sect's mountain gate. It was obviously a display of power. BuzzNovaloon.com that life star expert had only just destroyed the gate when a golden light shot out. In front of countless people shocked gazes, that life star expert turned to dust. 
It happened so suddenly that none of them could react. That life star expert hadn't even sensed the danger before dying. They were all appalled. They had never expected the Zhuanshan Dao sect to be so tough. Were they planning on fighting to the end? They didn't want to discuss this at all? Those who harm a single grass of my Zhuanshan Dao sect will be annihilated without exception. Long Chen's voice once more rang out, this time domineering and merciless. Long Chen's mouth curled into a cold smile. Although he couldn't see what was happening, he could guess what had happened. Did they truly think the Zhuanshan Dao sect was a fangless old tiger? Today, he'd teach them just how sharp their teeth were. Li Xiangxuan had used the sect's grand formation to kill that life star expert. This attack expressed his standpoint. It also showed Long Chen his determination. You're looking to die. Someone roared furiously from below the mountain, infuriated by Long Chen's arrogance. With dog shit like you present, is there any need to look? Let me say it again. Either come up or scram. Of course, if you want to test my Zhuanshan Dao sect's determination. That's fine too. Go ahead and do your best to damage the sect. We will warmly welcome you, said Long Chen indifferently. This sharp exchange was already a fight. There was no need for pleasantries, nor was there any need for mercy. That would just be foolishness. Only by displaying your peerless methods and powerful attitude would you be able to obtain more bargaining chips when negotiating. Otherwise, you would already be losing before talks even began. HMPH. Then let me see just what kind of nest the Zhuanshan Dao sect is. Zhuo Xiangxiang's voice rang out. Very quickly, many experts arrived in the Zhuanshan Plaza. Long Chen was a bit surprised to see just how powerful Pill Valley was. They had actually brought over a thousand life star experts. These life star experts represented over a thousand sects. This kind of display was truly awe-inspiring. Now that they came. Long Chen saw that the leader was a middle-aged man who appeared to be in his forties. His robes were a fiery red. He wore a violet gold crown and had a golden band as a belt. There was an image of a medicinal cauldron on the front of his robes. On that cauldron was Pill Valley's specific mark. He also had dark gold runes embroidered on his sleeves. That was a symbol of his status. Long Chen had seen that kind of symbol before, but he didn't know what it meant. This overbearing middle-aged man was Pill Valley's law enforcer, Zhuo Xiangxiang. Everyone he had brought had reached the life star realm. They were all existences capable of being masters of their own sects. Each of them represented a sect. The majority of these people had come to suck up to Pill Valley, and another portion had come due to their past relationships with the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The remaining portion had come as extras. To put it more frankly, they had come to watch. After all, such a huge event hadn't occurred in the Central Plains in a long time. Zhuo Xiangxiang stared daggers at Long Chen who sat at the highest position of the Zhuanshan Plaza. What are you looking at? After seeing my boss, shouldn't you kowtow? My boss won't always bless you with such a chance, said Guo Ran coldly. Long Chen almost snorted. Tang Wan'er couldn't help but turn away and laugh, while Men Chi shook her head. There was really no saving this little fellow. He couldn't learn good habits, but bad habits were mastered easily. This way of talking was truly just like Long Chen's. Zhuo Xiangxiang's expression sank. At first, he hadn't even wanted to speak to Long Chen, because that was an insult to his status. He was trying to force Li Xiangxuan to come out, but before he could, he almost exploded because of Guo Ran. Little brat. Did your family elders never teach you manners? Suddenly, one of the life star experts charged forward, appearing in front of Long Chen, a hand reaching for his throat. Just being forced to come in here like this had infuriated them, but then seeing Long Chen sitting high above them and looking down on them, their fury blazed. They were life star experts, possessing grand statuses, but Long Chen dared to play with them? Of course the life star experts were infuriated. So one of them lost control and immediately attacked. He would capture Long Chen to win back his lost face. At the same time as he charged forward, he unleashed his domain, making it so Long Chen and the others couldn't move. But before his hand could reach Long Chen's throat, Men Chi formed a hand seal. Two soul runes appeared in her eyes, and a spiritual arrow shot out at that person. The life star expert was extremely surprised. 
He hadn't expected a weak little woman like Menchi to be able to unleash an attack within his domain. But with a cold snort, he didn't dodge. Instead, an image of a small person appeared on his forehead. That was his Yuan spirit. Menchi's attack struck his Yuan spirit and shattered. But the Life Star expert's expression completely changed. Pain racked his soul, as if millions of needles were stabbing him. His mind became blank for an instant. He hastily circulated the power of his Yuan spirit to resist. Menki's attack had contained a special soul-piercing effect. But in the end, he was a life star expert with a powerful Yuan spirit. If her attack had landed on a soul transformation expert, then with her current cultivation base, that soul transformation expert would be racked with pain for at least a breath's time. But against a life star expert, her power was still clearly lacking. The effect only lasted for the blink of an eye. The Life Star expert immediately recovered his consciousness. But in that time, he noticed a cyan brick growing larger and larger in front of him. Then, it solidly collided with his face. His nose broke and fresh blood splattered. He flew back with a pained groan. Everyone was startled. First, they were startled by Menki's power. Her spiritual strength was so powerful that even a Life Star expert was affected. But then when they looked at the Life Star Expert again, they were once more shocked. At this time, his face had completely deformed. His nose was gone, and there was a deep brick imprint in his face. Blood continued to pour out. It was impossible to recognize his original face any longer. Boss, your aim was a bit off. In terms of up and down, it's still good. But the left and right don't match. Kritikwa Guoran. Zhuo Shiang Xiang sounds like add crap to the table. Shit sounds like death. Zai versus Shi. This is like the fifth time he's made this pun in response to this. Chapter 1310 Overbearing Translator. Born to be Guo Ran. How dare you? With boss's experience and technique. How could he possibly miss? Look carefully. His face was clearly never symmetrical. Retorted Gu Yang. Is that so? Ah. Now that you say it. It really is true. Boss. I was wrong. Apologized Guo Ran. That's enough. Zhuo Shiang Xiang roared furiously. He backed his voice with the power of his cultivation base, making it so the dragon blood warriors couldn't stand steady. Their expressions changed. This Zhuo Shiang Xiang was truly powerful. Li Shiang Xuan, what are you intending? You sent a few disciples as a shield, roared Zhuo Shiang Xiang. The lives of a few disciples won't be able to satisfy our anger. Today, we'll raise the Zhuanshan Dao sect to the ground. Just at this moment, a large group of people walked in, blazing with killing intent. As soon as they arrived, the temperature dropped. The ancient races. These people were experts from the ancient races. Hundreds of them had come. Their blazing killing intent showed that they had come to kill. Adding on what they had just said, it was clear. Li Shiang Xuan had completely infuriated them, causing them to lose face. They needed to win that back. Raise my Zhuanshan Dao sect to the ground? Do a bunch of hybrids made from humans and beasts have that kind of power? Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen detested the ancient races the most. They were an inferior race. Now he had learned the truth about them. They were actually just some failed products. At that time, the human race had been extremely powerful. Back then, when the human race and Xuan beast race had decided to intermingle. It had just been a kind of experiment. The ancient races were the result of lower ranking Xuan beasts mating with the human race. The true pure blooded Xuan beasts who intermingled with the human race would have children that looked like regular people. They wouldn't be like these ancient race people with clear signs that they were half beast, half human. The children born from the true human race experts and pure blooded Xuan beasts had the body of humans but the spirit blood of Xuan beasts. The constitution of the human race allowed them to get closer to the heavenly deos, while the Xuan beast's blood gave them powerful physical bodies. Each one of those children had terrifying talent. But now, the current ancient races were nothing more than failed experiments. They were abandoned. Even the Xuan beasts called them half-breeds. That wasn't cursing them, but referring to how the energy within their bodies was too muddled. They were no longer pure. As for the ancient races, in order to maintain their pitiful dignity, they sucked up to the Xuan beasts, refusing to recognize that the human race was their ancestor. 
They continuously bullied the human race, wishing them to all die to wash away their own history. Long Chen looked down on them the most. Long Chen's words shocked the life star experts. Did he not want his life? Long Chen, your mouth's tough. Today, let's see whether your Zhuanshan Dao sect can see tomorrow's sun. What startled people was that these ancient race experts didn't attack. Despite clearly wanting to kill Long Chen, they simply stood there. Old half-breeds. Let's see then, said Long Chen indifferently. He knew exactly what the ancient races were doing. They weren't fools. They knew that this matter wouldn't be so simple. There was very likely going to be a bloody battle, and they didn't want to take the lead for fear of taking losses. That made Long Chen look down on them even more. The old man's words were entirely correct. The ancient races were just a pack of idiots who bullied the weak and cowered from the strong. Their viciousness was just an act for others to see. At a life and death juncture, they were just cowards. It's already so tense here even though we've just arrived. It seems there will be a good show to watch today. Suddenly, another group of hundreds of people appeared. This group contained various people. There were men and women, young and old. There were dozens of young disciples amongst them. But these young disciples' power shocked everyone. They were all rank 8 celestials. There was one lanky man with a mole on his chin who had practically solidified heavenly Tao energy circulating around him. It seemed he was a terrifying rank 9 celestial. People from the ancient family alliance. Someone let out a startled cry. It was unexpected that they would also come today. But what did they intend to do by bringing over so many disciples? To watch the fun? That was too much, wasn't it? Everyone, don't misunderstand. We were only passing by and were drawn over. We are leading our disciples to chase down a traitorous ancient family. It just so happens that this traitor has a bit of a relationship with Long Chen. So hearing the news of Long Chen, we decided to come and take a look. We definitely won't interfere with your matter. One of the elders of the ancient family alliance explained with a smile. He sharply saw Huo Shiang Xiang and the ancient race experts frowns. Hearing that they came from the ancient family alliance, Long Chen was startled. In the eastern wasteland, he had encountered the ancient family alliance twice. The first time was after the Mo family had fled. The ancient family alliance's people had come to ask him a few questions. The second time was after the battle of the immemorial path, when he had been annihilating the remote heaven gang. The ancient family alliance had also appeared. At that time, the ancient races and Pill Valley's experts had also come out, using the excuse that he had killed too many people in the immemorial path. They said that they had come to determine justice for everyone, but they had actually just come for his secrets. Then Feng Zingli and Ling Yunzi had come and resolved that crisis. After he came to the Central Plains, Long Chen hadn't heard anything from the ancient family alliance again, for them to appear again and mention a traitor who had a relationship with him. Long Chen immediately thought of a bow-wielding person wearing a hat to cover his face. That person, who still had a bit of a baby fat, often liked to act mysterious and pose. It seems that Mo Nian's not doing too bad himself. Long Chen smiled faintly. They were truly brothers in hardship. Seeing this mass of troops, it seemed Mo Nian was also being hunted down, and not on a small scale. They were truly fated to be brothers. You know Mo Nian? If you know where he is, it would be best if you told us right now. Long Chen had only just spoken when one of the young disciples opened his mouth. That disciple looked to be in his early twenties. His words were irritatingly arrogant, but he was already a rank 8 celestial at the second vestige of Jade Core. He truly had the qualifications to be arrogant. I know him, but why should I tell you? Are you my son? said Long Chen disdainfully. This brat really was an idiot. Long Chen wasn't afraid even when facing this many experts. So did he think threatening him with his little bit of power would work? Little brat, you dare to take advantage of me. Suddenly, before anyone else could speak, a woman who appeared to be in her thirties angrily cursed Long Chen. Long Chen's expression became odd. It seemed that this woman was that fellow's mother, or she wouldn't say he was taking advantage of her. This truly was a bit awkward. Long Chen didn't quite know what to say. He had just randomly said something, but he had provoked this woman. TCH, how did he take advantage of you? 
with my boss's handsomeness and talent. Where else could you find such a man? Him being your son's father is your blessing as a mother. Don't quibble after getting such an advantage seeing that Long Chen was speechless. Guo Ran hastily covered for him. As a result, he really did well. Now Long Chen was even more embarrassed. He had an urge to kick this brat. He had definitely done this on purpose. Bastard. Die. The young man roared and wings appeared on his back. The aura of a rank 8 celestial erupted, and he transformed into a ray of light that shot at Long Chen. Scram. You don't have the qualifications to get close to my boss. Gu Yang suddenly smashed his spear out. The man snorted and took out a sword. Boom. With an explosive sound, both Gu Yang and the young man were knocked into the distance by the other's power. Gu Yang's heart shook. This man's control of heavenly Tao energy was extremely great. He had felt some strange energy from the man's sword pushing him back, causing him to be at a disadvantage. He was actually capable of using such a queer technique with his thin sword against a heavy spear. That showed just how great his combat experience was as well. It was no wonder he was so arrogant. This kind of power was truly great. Gu Yang was startled, but the young man was also stunned. The power of his sword was to absorb his opponent's power and attack back with it. But Gu Yang's power was too condensed for him to absorb much of it. As a result, things went out of his expectations and they were at a draw. Long Chen was also extremely shocked. This many powerful experts were hunting Mo Nian? He suddenly thought of something, and a disdainful expression appeared on his face. He said, you should give up. With just your little bit of ability, you wouldn't even be able to block three attacks from Mo Nian. Why bother sending yourself to your death? HMPH. So what if Mo Nian can cut down consecutive soul transformation experts? His cultivation base still hasn't broken through the Jade Core Realm. So I can easily kill him. Do you dare let me have a fair fight against him? Sneered the man. Trying to provoke Long Chen. Long Chen immediately feigned anger. Roaring. What nonsense. Mo Nian hasn't broken through to Jade Core? How long do you think it's been? Do you think his cultivation base will never increase? Foolish. You're the one who's foolish. Just a month ago, Mo Nian was only Fenor. Don't take his bait. He doesn't know anything about Mo Nian's current situation, and he's just trying to get you to tell him, said his mother, cutting him off. Long Chen smiled. Not bad, not bad. He hadn't expected to learn news about Mo Nian here, although he wasn't able to get much out of them. It was enough to be able to kill soul transformation experts in the foundation forging realm. He could truly be described as a monster. No wonder the ancient family alliance would send so many people to hunt him down. Based on this, they were trying to find Mo Nian and have their disciples beat him. It seemed they were treating it as a hunt. Long Chen wasn't clear on the enmity between Mo Nian and the ancient family alliance, but he wasn't worried about him. That little brat was so slippery, nothing could happen to him. Now that so many esteemed guests have come, don't you think it's rude if you don't show up? Li Xiangxuan. Just at this moment, a group of ten people walked into the Zhuanshan Plaza. The speaker was an icy-faced elder. Chapter 1311 Expert Reinforcements Arrived Translator. Born to be these ten people were wearing light blue robes. The front of their robes had a large immortal character embroidered onto them. Alliance. Around this character was a dark blue circle, and it represented the martial heaven sea ring. This was the sign of the Martial Heaven Alliance. These people were all life star experts, and their robes were not the same as the Martial Heaven Alliance's people that had appeared at the Eastern Sea. Their statuses were clearly even higher. The leader was an icy faced elder with electric eyes. He gave off immense pressure. His chin was a bit long, and he gave off a very unfriendly feeling. It's not that I, Li Xiangxuan, am putting on airs but that there are many people who aren't qualified for me to personally receive them. The Martial Heaven Alliance is naturally an exception. Li Xiangxuan suddenly materialized in front of this group of experts. Behind him were all the higher-ups of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the experts above foundation forging. Li Xiangxuan might be able to ignore the people from Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance, but he had to treat the Martial Heaven Alliance with sincerity. After all, 
the Zhuangshan Dao sect was under the administration of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Martial Heaven Alliance was the sum of the Righteous Path's powers. It administered the entire Righteous Path, and its goal was to point the blades of the Righteous Path toward the Corrupt Path. The Martial Heaven Alliance was where all the wealth of the Righteous Path was concentrated. Each year, each Righteous Sect would send some of their resources to the Martial Heaven Alliance's attacks. Those resources were used for the daily costs of the Martial Heaven Alliance and their reward system. Anyone who had achieved merit in the battles against the Corrupt Path could apply for a reward from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Once the Martial Heaven Alliance investigated and collected proof, if the circumstances were verified, they would give out rewards in accordance with how much damage a person or sect had done to the Corrupt Path. The possible rewards and criteria for them were very explicit. In the past, the Martial Heaven Alliance had always been fair, just, and open with their actions. Their conduct had won all the Righteous Path's trust and support. They had been the most solid support of the Righteous Path. But in the past few years, a few problems had gradually appeared in the Martial Heaven Alliance, causing some friction between it and the Righteous Sects. Previously, the Martial Heaven Alliance had only been in charge of overseeing the overall battle strategy against the Corrupt Path. But recently, they had slowly started to interfere in the competition between sects, causing quite a bit of dissatisfaction amongst the smaller sects. After all, it was unavoidable to have some conflicts between sects. That was very normal. But if a third party decided to interfere, the flavor changed. For example, if two brothers fought, no matter how they fought, they were still brothers. Once their fight was over, they would remain brothers. But when two brothers fought, and an outsider came and was biased to one side, perhaps even helping that side defeat the other, the conflict would immediately escalate. They would become enemies. There were now quite a few sects that had been harmed heavily because of the Martial Heaven Alliance's meddling. That was what caused the righteous sects to accuse the Martial Heaven Alliance of misconduct and begin to refuse to cooperate with them. Seeing how much fury they had incited, the Martial Heaven Alliance had stopped interfering with the sects. It could count as lowering their heads Novaloon.com but it seemed that after lowering their heads, the Martial Heaven Alliance also became dissatisfied with the righteous sects. They felt like their good intentions had been spat on, and they began to entirely stop caring about the righteous sects. In the past few years, they had even lost their original initiative in the fight against the corrupt path. Now, they were only fulfilling their basic mission mechanically. They simply handed out the rewards. Other than major events, they wouldn't appear anymore. As for this time, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's fight at Devil Spirit Mountain had shaken the central plains. Other than requiring a huge amount of resources as a reward, they had also killed experts from Pill Valley and the ancient races. The Martial Heaven Alliance had no choice but to appear. After all, the Zhuangshan Dao sect was one of their members. Considering how this matter involved Pill Valley and the ancient races, huge waves could ear up from this. So they had come to investigate. The Martial Heaven Alliance's position in the Righteous Path was unshackable. Even Pill Valley and the ancient races wouldn't want to offend them. Offending the Martial Heaven Alliance was equivalent to offending the entire Righteous Path. So the consequences would be heavy. With someone from the Martial Heaven Alliance appearing, Li Xiangxuan had no choice but to personally appear. More and more experts were appearing in the Zhuangshan Plaza, and this matter was growing even more complicated. Seeing the people from the Martial Heaven Alliance, the ancient race's experts' expressions changed slightly. For the Martial Heaven Alliance to appear here, it seemed that they had come to smooth things over. Turning something big into something small and then waving off that small thing was their specialty. The ancient races had come prepared to destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect. But with the Martial Heaven Alliance's people here, it seemed that wouldn't be possible. Seeing Li Xiangxuan appear, the expression of the Martial Heaven Alliance's elder softened slightly. After all, this was giving face to the Martial Heaven Alliance. The elder nodded, turning to the people from Pill Valley the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance, he said, I am Dang Kang, the vice regional master of the Eastern Xuan region's alliance, the Eastern Xuan region he mentioned referred to the Eastern region of the Central Plains, 
The central plains were so large that they were split into five regions, north, south, east, west, and the central region. Looking up from the sky, the five regions of the central plains were like a copper coin. At the middle was a square, which was the central Xuan region. The rest was evenly divided into four regions, while the Zhuangshan Dao sect was within the eastern region. Dang Kang continued, I came specifically for the matter of the Zhuangshan Dao sect yes, the Zhuangshan Dao sect truly has some fault in this matter. Long Chen frowned, what was this old man doing? If the first thing he did was declare them guilty, how was he supposed to fix it? He stealthily glanced at Li Xiangxuan, only to see the latter give him a special look. Long Chen instantly understood. I'm sorry, but Vice Regional Master Dang, my Zhuangshan Dao sect is unable to accept that we did anything wrong, interrupted Long Chen. The other experts were stunned that Long Chen would be so brazen. This Vice Regional Master Dang Kang had clearly come to help him. But why was he being this rude? Long Chen, don't be rude. Apologize to Vice Regional Master Dang Kang, shouted Li Xiangxuan immediately. Long Chen shook his head. Xuan Master, I'm sorry. Disciple simply has a temper. Right is right, and wrong is wrong. As for manners, that's for later. The most important thing is that our Zhuangshan Dao sect did nothing wrong. So my apologies Vice Regional Master Dang Kang. I had no choice but to interrupt you. Long Chen and Li Xiangxuan's cooperation was flawless, not allowing Dang Kang to have a way to vent his fury. If he expressed his anger now, it would seem like he wasn't magnanimous. What nonsense. Are you saying that it's right for you to kill others? Shouted one of the Life Star experts standing behind Suo Xiangxiang. Is it really fun to help a dog eat shit? Sneered Long Chen. This bootlicking ability was too low level. It was nauseating. Long Chen, don't be rude, chided Li Xiangxuan. My apologies, Xuan Master. I'm unable to be polite to those who eat shit all day and then spout that shit to others, said Long Chen helplessly. Brat, you must want to die, raged that life star expert. Old bastard, in another three years, my boss will be able to kill you like killing a chicken. Do you want to try offending him some more? Guo Ran finally couldn't bear it anymore and cursed the Life Star expert. The rest of the Dragonblood Legion was also infuriated. It was clearly this group of guests that had established a heaven encompassing net to hunt down Long Chen. Could it be that others were supposed to just be killed obediently without counterattacking? Long Chen and Guo Ran's arrogance immediately infuriated all the experts. Just as they were about to start cursing them, another group of people arrived. Ha ha ha. The youngsters these days are truly good. They have guts and intelligence, and bravery in spades. It wasn't a waste for me to come such a long way to see today's heroes. Everyone was startled and hastily looked back. They saw a group of over 10 people slowly walking into the Zhuangshan Plaza. The person at the front looked like a kind hearted elder in his 50s. His medium build was a bit pudgy. He didn't look like a cultivator but an elderly shopkeeper instead. That magnanimous smile was something that put others at ease. The group behind him was wearing luxurious robes and had graceful airs. Amongst them, a young man gave Long Chen a thumbs up. Long Chen immediately felt like flowers were blooming in his heart. He hadn't expected them to come at this time. Now it was going to be lively. The Huaian sect. Quite a few people's expressions changed. Pill Valley's law enforcer, Zhuo Xiangxiang immediately became gloomy. They had always been mortal enemies. Pill Valley had almost monopolized the medicinal pill market, while Huaian sect had almost monopolized the entire business sector. Both sides were behemoths with unimaginable wealth. Almost all the righteous paths medicinal pills were obtained from Pill Valley, but the rest of their resources came from the Huaian sect. Pill Valley controlled the fate of the medicinal pills in this world while the Huaian sect controlled the fate of the other resources. No sect could afford to offend either of them. But now, Pill Valley had come here first, and the Huaian sect's experts had come later. The significance behind this was all too clear, causing these experts' expressions to change. If they only sucked up to Pill Valley, they would offend the Huaian sect. Their business roots would essentially be severed, and they would be unable to buy or sell their resources. In that case, they would be doomed. 
the entire Marshall Heaven Continent's business network was controlled by the Huaian sect losing their support would require you to create your own trading channels, but the rest of the marketplace was in the Huaian sect's hands, and without any connections, you would go cold and hungry. The Huaian sect was always low-key and paid great attention to their reputation. Furthermore, the Huaian sect's disciples were all followers of the wealth god. They conducted their business fairly with all parties, and their reputation was undoubtable. But now, the Huaian sect and Pill Valley were fighting, dumbfounding the people that had come to suck up to Pill Valley. Now there were two sides to suck up to, but sucking up to one would cause you to lose the other, and losing either one would spell doom for them. They panicked, not knowing what to do. Even Dang Kang found this surprising. He had never imagined that the Huaian sect would send people at this time. This didn't match their Loki style. Yu Qingxian, what do you think you're doing? Finally, Zhuo Xiangxiang opened his mouth. Chapter 1312 Once more seeing the slap translator, born to be for Zhuo Xiangxiang to be able to call out that elder's name. The two were clearly familiar with each other, but that tone of his was not the one used when greeting an old friend. He. What could I possibly be intending? As the shopkeeper of the Eastern Xuan region, I work myself to death every day. I simply finally had some time to go out for a stroll and relax, when I suddenly noticed that this place was very lively. So I came to take a look. Yu Qingxian laughed, still as magnanimous as ever, as if he would never get angry in his life. Within the Huaian sect, there were many different posts, but because they were so devout to their wealth god, even their appellations were business titles. It wasn't quite the same style as the rest of the cultivation world. Pill Valley's people would often curse the Huaian sect for being nothing more than a group or loathsome peddlers, beggars who only cared about profit. But the Huaian sect never cursed back at Pill Valley, nor would they do anything aggressive. That kind of self-restraint was admirable, despite both parties controlling the lifeblood of the cultivation world. The Huaian sect was always Loki, and was never overbearing like Pill Valley. But if people thought that the Huaian sect was easy to bully because of that, they would have made a huge mistake. The Huaian sect's power was something no one knew. But considering that even Pill Valley was always helpless to do anything to them, there were still some clues. You don't need to be so nervous. My Huaian sect believes that amiability makes a person rich. But I heard that Pill Valley has been very unbridled with this matter. My Huaian sect has always been Loki, and so I was thinking of learning a few pointers from you. Yu Qingxian smiled. The righteous expert's hearts shook. Yu Qingxian's words might seem courteous on the surface, but they contained a hidden sharpness. What exactly did he mean by the Huaian sect had always been Loki, but now wanted to learn a few pointers from Pill Valley? Was that to say that they were about to start attacking Pill Valley? This was a warning to all of them. HMPH. My Pill Valley has the power and foundation to be arrogant. Not just anyone can learn this ability. Sneered Zhuo Xiangxiang. He was clearly cursing the Huaian sect for being a bunch of country bumpkins. That their foundation was a far cry from Pill Valley's. You can't put it like that. No matter what. You should always try things out at least once before giving up. Otherwise, you'll start doubting your own abilities. So trying something out isn't a bad thing, laughed Yu Qingxian. By supporting the Zhuanshan Dao sect, are you prepared to go against my Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the entire righteous path? Demanded Zhuo Xiangxiang. Oh, how worthy of Pill Valley. This arrogance was truly something worthy of me coming to learn to be able to make me the enemy of the world with just a sentence. Amazing. Truly amazing. Yu Qianchang raised his thumb at Zhuo Xiangxiang, but everyone could tell he was mocking him. My Huaian sect is a business, so we naturally wouldn't dare to offend so many people. Otherwise, we might starve to death. All I came to do was to learn your techniques. You can act however you want to act, and we'll just watch without saying anything, laughed Yu Qingxian. So, youngster Long Chen, can you help find me a seat and some refreshments? I'm an old man, and your Zhuanshan Dao sect staircase is too long. I'm so tired. I almost collapsed halfway. Yu Qingxian turned to Long Chen. Long Chen was delighted. 
Yu Qingxin had already expressed his attitude clearly. He had come to help Long Chen suppress these people, and at least one of his main goals was to go against Pill Valley. By sitting on his side, anyone who wasn't blind or an idiot could tell the Huai insect's attitude. Old friend Qingxin, I invited you multiple times to come but you refused to visit. It seems Long Chen's face is even greater than mine as the Zhuanchen Dao sect sect master. Li Xiangxuan bitterly smiled. It had to be known that Yu Qingxin was in charge of the Huai insect within the eastern Xuan region. His word was law in this region. In truth, Li Xiangxuan only knew of him and hadn't had any past relationship with him. In the past, the Zhuanchen Dao sect's business was also handled by others in the Huai insect. A declined sect like the Zhuanchen Dao sect wasn't qualified to disturb a figure on his level. One reason for Li Xiangxuan's bitter smile was to raise Long Chen's status, while the other was to express his helplessness. Xuan Master Li, please forgive this old man. My body is old. Thanks to the blessing of the wealth god, my own wealth has been growing to the point that just going out for a stroll is too much of a waste. I can't bear to lose that profit. Yu Qingxin patted his own plump belly with a laugh. At this time, Long Chen offered his own seat to Yu Qingxin. But Yu Qingxin refused. He sat down to the side, not wanting to overwhelm the voice of the host. Long Chen's position was the sect master's position. Even Li Xiangxuan and the others were standing behind him, so he was the leading role. Yu Qingxin naturally saw that Li Xiangxuan was supporting Long Chen. Clearly, Li Xiangxuan had pushed Long Chen into the position of the future Xuan master. Long Chen's status and position would never be the same again. He was no longer just a talented disciple. Li Xiangxuan's actions today were equivalent to telling the world that Long Chen was the successor of the Zhuanchen Dao sect, and anyone who dared to touch him would have to face the entire Zhuanchen Dao sect's rage. Good job, Long Chen. Your brother supports you. Zheng Wenlong, who was behind Yu Qingxin, winked at him. Long Chen nodded, remembering this favor. Zheng Wenlong had truly helped him out this time. With the Huai insect supporting him, the pressure on him lessened a great deal. The arrival of the Huai insect's experts threw Pill Valley's original scheme into chaos. Even the Martial Heaven Alliance's people didn't know what to do. Yu Qingxin was simply sitting by Long Chen's side. Those people doing their best to spout dog shit for Pill Valley all shut their mouths, not daring to speak. In truth, all of us have only come to the Zhuanchen Dao sect for the sake of justice. Since we've all come, it's time for us to discuss what happened. If there are any misunderstandings, we can resolve them right now. With so many distinguished figures of the martial path, we can definitely find a way to carry out justice for everyone. At this time, the Martial Heaven Alliance's Dang Kang thickened his face and started the conversation. After all, the Zhuanchen Dao sect was a member of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and they had to stand up for them. However, his words were no longer as harsh as before. At the very least, he didn't start off by calling the Zhuanchen Dao sect the villains, but his words were still implying that the Zhuanchen Dao sect was the one at fault, or he wouldn't say that their goal was to find justice for all parties. Long Chen smiled coldly. He could tell that this Dang Kang was no good. He was fundamentally not speaking up for the Zhuanchen Dao sect, he was definitely working for someone else. Although Long Chen didn't know why Dang Kang would be acting like this, Long Chen was confident that if he allowed Dang Kang to continue taking the lead, the situation would turn more and more unfavorable for the Zhuanchen Dao sect. That's right, with old man Yu here, I trust that many people will need to give an explanation to my Zhuanchen Dao sect, agreed Long Chen, but his agreement was clearly different from Dang Kang's intent. His meaning was the opposite. Bastard. Your Zhuanchen Dao sect killed so many people, and we're the ones supposed to give you an explanation. Li Xiangxuan intentionally used a divine item to kill so many life star experts from Pill Valley and the ancient races. He was even more vicious than the corrupt path. But you still have the face to demand an explanation? For you to be so shameless, are you not afraid of embarrassing your ancestors? For my heaven suppressing magic sect to be lumped in the same name as your Zhuanchen Dao sect is our greatest humiliation. Cursed an elder at Long Chen and Li Xiangxuan. This elder was the sect leader of the heaven suppressing magic sect. Chi Yuneo. In terms of seniority, 
He was even a level higher than Li Xiangxuan. That's right. The Zhuangshan Dao sect definitely did it intentionally. This is the sign you want to cause chaos for the rest of the land. Today, the Zhuangshan Dao sect must give the righteous path an explanation due to the seniors from the Huaian sect coming. We won't ask for too much. As long as the Zhuangshan Dao sect is immediately disbanded and Long Chen is executed, this matter can be resolved. Immediately after Qi Yuneo, other experts from the Righteous Path began to roar with righteous indignation. They were all one sects that had had relationships with the Zhuangshan Dao sect although they were intimidated by the Huaian sect. They were more worried about the Zhuangshan Dao sect managing to escape this crisis unscathed. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect really rose, it would be a nightmare for them. That was why with Qi Yuneo being the first, they also stood out to make the choice between the Huaian sect and Pill Valley. Since they were already enemies of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, they had to choose to stand by Pill Valley. Long Chen stood and began slowly walking toward Qi Yuneo. The roars gradually calmed down as everyone stared at him. HMPH, you want to argue with me? Today, no matter how you try to twist it, your lies won't have the slightest use. A wrong is a wrong, and forcibly twisting logic is meaningless, sneered Qi Yuneo. Pow. But what shocked everyone was that Long Chen didn't say anything. He had no intent of quibbling. He directly extended a hand and slapped Qi Yuneo's face. You shameless old thing. I came to slap you. Who would waste words with someone like you? Everyone was filled with disbelief. Long Chen's slap had flowed naturally without the slightest flaws. According to reason, as soon as he attacked, an expert would instinctively react. But it was only after Long Chen's slap had struck Qi Yuneo's face that everyone reacted. It was like time had frozen until his slap landed. Just having witnessed it made them feel like there were boundless mysteries behind it. A natural Tao. To be able to refine a face slap to such a level, he can be rated as unrivaled beneath the heavens. Even Yu Qingxian was surprised and he shot up, staring with shock. This was his first time seeing Long Chen's divine face slapping art. As for Qi Yuneo, he was slapped into the distance. One of the Life Star experts had to catch him. The heaven suppressing magic sects cultivators had weak bodies, and Qi Yuneo was no exception. Long Chen's slap had shattered half his face. Blood was pouring out. Everyone was deathly silent. That slapping sound still hung in the air. Many of them were simply dumbfounded. Not all of them were able to tell just how profound that slap had been. They were unable to figure out why Qi Yuneo hadn't dodged. Die. Qi Yuneo's face twisted, and with a furious roar, a golden runic hand appeared and slammed toward Long Chen. Chapter 1313 The Sword Shakes the Heavens Translator Born to be just as Qi Yuneo had unleashed his attack, he realized that Long Chen had long since vanished from where he had been. Long Chen was already back in his seat, causing his attack to miss. That slap was your lesson for blindly babbling. In the future, you should think about the consequences before you randomly fart. Don't you know? Doing so will increase your chances of getting slapped. Lectured Long Chen from his seat Noveloon.com in truth. Long Chen was delighted to have actually pulled off this slap. When walking over, he had intentionally stared at Chi Yuneo while looking like he was in the midst of formulating an argument. Chi Yuneo had actually fallen for it. This slap had been truly satisfying. In front of this many people, he had slapped a life star expert. He had never managed to pull off such an amazing posing moment before. The most important things were the details. From the moment he slapped him and returned, he had looked absolutely tranquil and natural, as if he was completely used to this. That was what caused such a stunning result. Guo Ran's eyes were green, and stars seemed to be shining in his eyes. If he had been the one to do this slap, he might have already fainted from ecstasy. Bastard. Long Chen. If I don't kill you, I swear I'm not human. Chi Yuneo almost went insane. He was the leader of the heaven-suppressing magic sect, and his seniority was even greater than Li Xiangxuan. But he had been slapped in the face by a tiny little foundation-forging disciple. This was even worse than killing him. A violet gold magical staff appeared in his hands. A terrifying pressure caused everyone's expressions to change. The violet gold soul devouring staff, 
This violet gold soul devouring staff was the heaven suppressing magic sect's divine item. It was extremely famous. Everyone jumped upon seeing him take it out. Was he planning on immediately using a divine item? That staff had only just appeared when a golden light shot out of nowhere and struck the staff. Chi Yuneo's body violently trembled, and he was blown into the distance. This first attack was a warning. Next time, you will be directly destroyed. A voice suddenly resounded through heaven and earth, shocking everyone. It was like the voice of a god. It's the Zhuanshan Tower. Wasn't it said that it was injured during the Dark Era and already broken down? Suddenly, a person cried out as he noticed that the golden light had come from the peak of the Zhuanshan Tower. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's number one divine item was the Zhuanshan Tower, while the reincarnation mirror was number two. After all, the Zhuanshan Tower was left behind by the first generation patriarch, but rumor said that it had been half crippled in the Dark Era and could only maintain karmic luck. Wasn't it supposed to be unable to attack? The Zhuanshan Tower had only unleashed a single insignificant attack, but it had blown Chi Yuneo away. Not even the violet gold soul devouring staff had been able to resist. Everyone was stunned. They hadn't expected that the Zhuanshan Tower was still fine. If it was truly fine, then considering that it was where all the Zhuanshan Dao sect's karmic luck was gathered, the power it could unleash was unimaginable. Li Xiangxuan, you're so brazen to become enemies with the entire righteous path just because of the support of the Zhuanshan Tower, asked Suo Xiangxiang coldly. Today, so many unexpected things had happened that he was growing uneasy. Long Chen sneered. You keep bringing up the entire righteous path. Who do you think you are to represent the righteous path? You're from Pill Valley, and Pill Valley is situated outside the cultivation world. Does the righteous path have anything to do with you? If you want to make up bullshit, there's no need to be so obvious with it. Even a child wouldn't be tricked by such idiotic lies. Is your head only full of crap? Zhuo Xiangxiang was truly sinister to continuously attempt to incite friction between the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the rest of the righteous path. Ha ha ha, well said. Pill Valley is just a group of shameless idiots. Suddenly, a heroic and domineering voice rang out. Who's there? Get out here. One of Pill Valley's life star experts flew into the air to see who was talking. Fuck your mother. Do you think this is a place you can speak? Suddenly, Sword Chi soared into the air, splitting the sky. A terrifying will caused the world to quiver. This Sword Chi was incredibly domineering, capable of killing man or god. Everyone present was stunned by this Sword Chi. This sword wasn't even aimed at them, yet its pressure caused a stabbing pain in their souls. That Pill Valley expert standing in the air hastily formed hand seals, and a huge flame blade condensed in the air, meeting the Sword Chi. But shockingly, that flame blade was unable to bear a single blow from the sword chi. It instantly exploded, not even managing to slow it down. The sword chi then slashed through the pill valley expert, annihilating him. If anyone else is unconvinced, come out and fight. A group of people walked into the Zhuanshan Plaza. The one at the front was Boss Bao, and the ones behind him were the other bosses of the heaven splitting battle sect. Behind the seven bosses were Bao Buping and Chang Hao. What delighted Long Chen was that the seven bosses had all advanced to the Life Star Realm. The space around them was constantly fluctuating as a result of them having just advanced and not being able to control their auras yet. As for Bao Buping and Chang Hao, they had advanced to the Jade Core Realm, but their auras had already stabilized. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, the seven bosses' arrival elicited startled cries, and people involuntarily took a few steps back terror appearing in their eyes. Within the righteous path, the sect that evoked the most fear was the heaven-splitting battle sect that was because the heaven-splitting battle sect was full of suicidal madmen. There was no way to reason with them. They would start fighting all out with a single wrong word. Furthermore, they were all existences that were unrivaled in the same realm and incredibly domineering. Their killing power was frightening. Heaven-splitting battle sect. What do you think you're doing? Zhuo Xiangxiang's expression sank. Are you blind? We came to kill. Having just advanced, our hands are itchy and we want to play around with a few people. It just so happens that there are many people here, and we can kill until we're satisfied. Do you have any opinion of that? 
said Boss Bao disdainfully. Are you supporting Long Chen? Demanded Suo Shiang Xiang. That's why I said Pill Valley is just a pack of idiots. You obviously know already. So why ask? If we didn't come to support Long Chen, why would we have come so far? I really look down on your Pill Valley. You clearly want to control the world. Yet you don't express it and just play your little schemes in the dark to make those spineless sects submit to you. Is there a point to this? If you want to become a king, do it openly. As for this pattern of slowly boiling a frog, do you really think others can't see through it? Sneered Boss Bao. Zhuo Shiang Xiang's expression changed and he shouted, Pay attention to your tone. Know that my Pill Valley's status is transcendent. Do you think we care about your mundane world? Just shut up. You probably can't even believe your own words. You know what you've done, and others know what you've done. It's just that no one dares to provoke you by saying it. However, my heaven-splitting battle sect happens to be full of men who stand while pissing. If you don't like it, then let's fight. After finishing speaking, Boss Bao ignored Suo Shiang Xiang and walked over to Long Chen. Little fellow, we've come to support you. Act as you please. It would be best if there was a big battle in a bit, and we can kill until rivers of blood flow. Boss Bao patted Long Chen on the shoulder with an excited expression. That expression made other people's skin crawl. Madman. Definitely a madman. That expression clearly showed that he wanted to kill everyone. When people came to support others in a dispute, their goal was always to mediate things to avoid a fight. But as for the heaven-splitting battle sect, it was like they were afraid others wouldn't fight without them coming. Scram. This isn't somewhere the likes of you can come. Boss Bao and the others had only just sat when a furious row rang out from the distance. They saw several life star experts blocking a white-robed man. This man looked to be in his thirties. He was handsome, and his white robes were like snow. He had a single sword strapped to his back. He was graceful, seemingly untouched by dust. But his cultivation base was only at the soul transformation realm. So he was immediately noticed. Seeing that he was only at the soul transformation realm, they thought that he had come to watch the fun. So the closest people immediately moved to kick him out. Get out of my way. The white-robed man frowned slightly. Scram. The life star experts were infuriated, and one of them sent out a punch at the white-robed man. Suddenly, a cold light flashed. Before anyone could understand what was happening, that life star expert came to a sudden stop, and then his body slowly split apart. As his body split, the white-robed man walked through him. Sect leader. Long Chen was shocked to see this white-robed man. He was the original sect leader of the 108th Monastery, Ling Yunzi. Ling Yunzi smiled and walked over to Long Chen, treating the life star experts around him as nothing. Die. Seeing Ling Yunzi look down on them, a murderous light appeared in the life star experts' eyes. Seven of them attacked at the same time. Ling Yunzi's mouth curled ever so slightly. His hand reached toward his back. The moment his sword came out of his sheath, light exploded. As bright as the sun, a terrifying destructive will shot out. Seven muffled bangs rang out. When the light faded, Ling Yunzi's hand was slowly letting go of his sword hilt. Li Xiangxuan, Yu Qingxian, Zhuo Xiangxiang, and all the other experts' pupils shrank. They had been unable to track Ling Yunzi's sword. As for other people, they had been unable to even see him unsheath his sword. The sound of seven bodies hitting the ground rang out. They no longer had the slightest life. Ling Yunzi continued onward, still treating the life star experts around him as nothing. Chapter 1314 The One Whose Sword Shakes Ghosts and God's Translator Born to be Ling Yunzi slowly walked forward, each step perfectly being the same distance. Even the rhythm of his movements was the exact same. All the life star experts present found it hard to believe that a soul transformation expert could be so terrifying. He killed life star experts without using the slightest effort. Most terrifying of all, there weren't the slightest heavenly Tao fluctuations around him. He clearly wasn't even a celestial. I remember. He's the heavenly sword gates ghost sword. Ling Yunzi. He specializes in the Annihilation Sword Dao someone suddenly let out a startled cry as he finally recognized Ling Yunzi. As soon as Ling Yunzi's name was mentioned, all the Life Star experts' expressions changed. That fellow whose sword is said to shake ghosts and gods, 
a sword which can exterminate the heavens and slay divinities I hear whenever he faces opponents. Life and death is always decided in just one move. Countless whispers spread throughout the crowd as they looked at Ling Yunzi with reverence. The Heavenly Sword Gate only accepted sword cultivators, and so it had very few disciples. But each of them was a figure capable of shaking heaven and earth. In the past few years, a genius had appeared in the Heavenly Sword Gate. Despite having long since passed his golden age of cultivation, he still managed to soar like a shooting star and was claimed to be a superhuman genius amongst sword cultivators. Although Ling Yunzi rarely left the Heavenly Sword Gate, his name was still very famous in the Central Plains. That was because when he had been over a hundred years old, he had still only been at the Xi'anshan realm. For him to be able to suddenly rise at such a late stage in his life toppled the cultivation world's laws. So there were naturally many people who knew of his strange existence. At the same time as people were shocked, they found it curious how long Chen knew Ling Yunzi, and would even call him sect leader. In the Central Plains, very few people knew Ling Yunzi's past. I've long since stopped being your sect leader. If my gate master were to learn of it, he might think I am conspiring some plot. Ling Yunzi smiled. Ling Yunzi arrived in front of Long Chen. He saw that the youth from back then had matured, although his general figure hadn't changed. There were more lines on his face. He had become more determined than ever. Ling Yanzi couldn't help but feel emotional. In my heart, you will always be the sect leader of the 108th monastery, said Long Chen. He was also emotional. Countless memories flooded back into their mind. Thinking of those things, they felt like they had happened a lifetime ago. Ling Yanzi, are you here to represent the Heavenly Sword Gate? Asked Huo Xiang uneasily. The Heavenly Sword Gate was a terrifying sect they had very few people, but even Pill Valley didn't want to provoke them. That was because each person in the Heavenly Sword Gate was a terrifying sword cultivator with unimaginable power. Fortunately, the Heavenly Sword Gate's disciples were focused on cultivating the Sword Dao and never interfered in the matters of the mundane world. They didn't have any relationship with Pill Valley, and they also hadn't had any conflicts. However, Ling Yunzi's arrival worried him. My Heavenly Sword Gate's disciples don't set foot in the mundane world. I came here purely for personal reasons, and it has nothing to do with the Heavenly Sword Gate. So you can be at ease. Even if I die here, the Heavenly Sword Gate won't find any trouble for you. Long Chen and I have had past dealings, and if he is in trouble, I must help. If a battle starts, I'd ask you all not to have any misjivings about the Heavenly Sword Gate and fight as you please. I, Ling Yunzi, will also not have any misjivings about your statuses. We can have a happy slaughter without any worries. Ling Yunzi's words caused a chill to run down these people's spines. He was definitely a vicious character. No different from the madman of the heaven splitting battle sect. A happy slaughter? Without your life, what was there to be happy about? Is Zifeng still alright? Ling Yunzi asked Long Chen. Long Chen immediately understood that a big reason Ling Yunzi had come here was for Yu Zifeng. Although the two of them had never formally taken the title of disciple and master, that relationship was still there. If it hadn't been for Ling Yunzi's pointers, Yu Zifeng wouldn't have advanced at such a terrifying rate. He's fine for now. His soul is sealed in his sword and unable to return to his body. That's a bit troublesome, and we aren't able to help said Long Chen. Good. We can discuss anything else once this matter is over. Little fellow, you really are not bad. Your ability to cause trouble grows greater and greater over time. Ling Yunzi patted Long Chen on the shoulder. After that, Ling Yunzi exchanged polite greetings with Li Xiangxuan, Boss Bao, and the others. According to age, Ling Yunzi was the junior, so he used the etiquette of a junior when greeting them. Embarrassing Li Xiangxuan and Boss Bao. You are Long Chen's elder, so we are brothers. Stop with the useless pleasantries, because we won't return them. Wouldn't you just be wasting your time? Grumbled Boss Bao. The heaven splitting battle sects people disliked this kind of unnecessary and elaborate detail the most. On the other hand, Li Xiangxuan asked Ling Yunzi if he wanted to come and help oversee the Zhuanshan Dao sect since he had once been a member of the sect he wanted to entice Ling Yunzi back. But Ling Yunzi merely smiled without saying anything. That was equivalent to politely declining. 
He obviously had his own plans for his future. As the Huaian sect, the Heaven Splitting Battle sect, and Ling Yanzi arrived, this matter grew more and more complicated. Pill Valley's overbearing act was forcibly suppressed now, and their confidence was starting to flag. With the Heaven Splitting Battle sects Madman and Ling Yanzi here, the power difference had changed. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was gaining more and more power. The Huaian sect was especially troublesome to deal with when it came to the situation. As for Li Xiangxuan, he seemed to be ignoring Pill Valley's people and was simply quietly conversing with Ling Yanzi, Yu Qingxian, Boss Bao, and the others. It was like everything before them had nothing to do with him. He had left everything to Long Chen. As for Long Chen, he was lightly tasting a bowl of fresh tea Men Chi had given him. Behind him, Tang Wan'er was gently massaging his shoulders. Long Chen was so comfortable he was about to start snoring. That appearance of his infuriated Zhuo Xiangxiang. In all his life, he had never seen anyone so arrogant. He was treating all of them as nothing but air. The eyes of the ancient family alliance's youngsters were burning with envy, almost spurting out flames. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were both beautiful women who looked like fairies that had descended into the mortal world but they were actually being so gentle to Long Chen. This scene made them almost go insane. They were heaven-shaking geniuses, but they had never even seen such beautiful women like Men Qi and Tang Wan'er. Although they also had a few beautiful women amongst them who could count as peak beauties found only once every thousand miles, they still didn't compare. Heavenly geniuses were all proud and arrogant figures. They felt that this world's beauties should belong to them alone. For them to see a foundation forging disciple receive such a blessing made them clench their teeth. If looks could kill, Long Chen would have died a thousand times over. Since everyone has come, let's discuss the problem of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Finally, the Martial Heaven Alliance's Dang Kang broke the awkward atmosphere. But as soon as he spoke, a cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Just now, he had sensed a very concealed fluctuation. Without the sharp senses of the nine-star hegemon body art, he wouldn't have sensed it. Just before Dang Kang had spoken, Pil Valley's Zhuo Xiangxiang had sent a spiritual message to him. According to reason, a concealed spiritual message between experts of their caliber could not be sensed. Even life star experts like Li Xiangxuan wouldn't be able to sense it. But the nine-star hegemon body art was extremely sensitive to malicious intent. And since he could sense it, that meant that these two were scheming against him, because that was the only reason the nine-star hegemon body art would sense it. Now Long Chen knew why Dang Kang was targeting the Zhuangshan Dao sect and refused to speak up for them. It seemed he had one foot in a different camp. Sorry, my Zhuangshan Dao sect doesn't have any problems. Let's discuss their problems instead. Long Chen didn't give Dang Kang any chance to continue speaking. There was no way he would fart out something good, so he might as well not let him fart at all. Long Chen, do you even know what respect is? Do you think you're qualified to butt in here? Roared Dang Kang, infuriated at being interrupted by Long Chen continuously. Boss Bao was immediately enraged and reached for his sword on his back. Li Xiangxuan was speechless. This kind of temper flared up a bit too quickly, wasn't it? He quickly stopped him. Don't be in such a rush. Long Chen can handle it. Li Xiangxuan bitterly smiled as he stopped the bosses. He knew that if he didn't stop them, these fellows would start killing now. I regret to inform you that it just so happens that I do have the qualifications. Right now, my word is the word of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. If you want to resolve this problem, you'll have to listen to me. If you don't want to listen to me, then it's also very simple. There are two options. 1. Fuck off. 2. Fight. You can choose for yourself. Long Chen smiled coldly. He could already see that a portion of the people sucking up to Pill Valley had started to retreat as soon as the Huaian sect arrived. Clearly, having weighed the pros and cons, they had decided not to offend either party. Those people wouldn't be interfering if a battle started. At most, they would just shout from the sideline and the arrival of the heaven-splitting battle sect and Ling Yanzi had shaken the confidence of another portion. They were afraid of the bosses as they were truly vicious figures. The slightest carelessness would cause these people to lose their lives. To suck up to Pill Valley, 
they would offend the Huaiyan sect and lose their lives. That wasn't worth it. So now the ones who had been shouting for a battle had silently disappeared. Only the ancient race experts still had sharp killing intent in their eyes. Both the Zhuangshan Dao sect and the Heaven Splitting Battle sect were their mortal enemies. If they could be annihilated in one move, it would be for the best. To the ancient race experts, Pill Valley had given them a good opportunity. Not only could they kill their enemies and display their might, but the deaths of these people would be the responsibility of Pill Valley. The Martial Heaven Alliance wouldn't even be able to find trouble for them. Little brat, stop being so arrogant. If you want to fight, then let's fight. Today, the ancient races will raise your Zhuangshan Dao sect to the ground, roared the ancient race experts. They wanted to start fighting right now. Are the ancient races so amazing? Back in my day, I don't even know how many of you I killed. I never felt you to be so tough. Suddenly, a disdainful sneer came from the sky. A large figure appeared. He was like a fat bloodthirsty butcher, icily staring at the ancient race experts. Chapter 1315 Weapons Drawn and Raised Translator Born to be the fierce Yang Butcher, Tu Kai and Shang. Countless people let out startled cries upon seeing that figure. The ancient race experts' expressions sank. In this world, the people who hated Tu Kai and Shang the most were the ancient races. When the ancient races had been hunting him down back then, he had killed a countless number of them, causing them to lose face. It was one of their most humiliating records in all of history. Now that Tu Kai and Chang arrived, he shocked everyone because he had actually advanced to the Life Star Realm. It had to be known that after his brother had been killed and he had been hunted down by the ancient races, a heart devil had been planted within him. Even after cultivating for so many years in the Wine God Palace, he hadn't been able to resolve it. Even in that battle outside the Grand Xia ancient nation, Tu Kai and Chang had still been at the peak of the soul transformation realm. It had to be known that Tu Kai and Chang was a rank 9 celestial. In the soul transformation realm, he had cut down life star experts. Now that he had advanced to the life star realm, there might not be a single person here capable of stopping him. Not only did the ancient race experts expressions sink, but even the expressions of Pill Valley's people became unsightly. The medicinal wine cooperation between Wine God Palace and Pill Valley had been forcibly ended by the Wine God Palace, and they had even expelled the Pill Valley from the Grand Shia, swearing to never cooperate with them ever again. Back then, that had shaken the Central Plains and caused Pill Valley to lose face. Although the Wine God Palace hadn't explicitly announced the reason why they were ending this cooperation, and Pill Valley had also done their best to conceal the truth, saying that it was just a conflict of techniques. Anyone with brains could tell that it was Pill Valley that had done something contemptuous, which had caused the Wine God Palace to furiously expel them. The Wine God Palace's nature was extremely well known in the Central Plains. Their disciples were a bit sanctimonious and prideful, and being wine fanatics made their styles different from the cultivation world's norm. However, the character of their disciples was something everyone had to admire. Anyone who could sincerely go and give them a few pointers to their wine would receive a pleasant surprise. Not just anyone would be presented with a gift of wine, but as long as they came to the wine god palace, their disciples would treat them to their wine. Any cultivators that had had contact with the wine god palace felt great respect for those wine fanatics. So the character of the Wine God Palace's disciples was known to be worth gold. But in comparison, Pill Valley's reputation wasn't so good. It was just that their power was too great, and no one dared to say anything. Pill Valley's movements against the Zhuangshan Dao sect had now not only caused their old enemy, the Huaian sect, to arrive, but even the Wine God Palace had come to interfere. This completely ruined their original plans. Long Chen. I've come to support you. Have you prepared the wine for me yet? Tu Kai and Chang didn't even look at the others and went directly to Long Chen. Don't tell me you came so far but didn't even bring any wine. Long Chen was delighted to see Tu Kai and Chang, but he put on a dissatisfied expression. You shameless fucker. I came so far and so fast to help you that I lost 10 pounds. But you want me to bring my own wine? HMPH. I admire how you can be so shameless as to say such a thing. Cursed to Kai and Shang. 
Long Chen understood Tu Kian Chang far too well. Although he looked carefree, he was actually very sharp. The more courteous you were with him, the more he would feel like you weren't worth talking to. By not treating him as a big figure, he would feel like you didn't have any plots involving him. Tu Kian Chang's temper was just as explosive as the boss's, but the difference was that in his eyes, there was no such thing as seniority. As long as you could get along with him, he wouldn't care about whether you were older or younger. Everyone he got along with was his brother, but others didn't know this. So seeing Long Chen speaking so brazenly to Tu Kian Shang, and seeing Tu Kian Shang act like that was normal, they found it inconceivable. Tu Kian Shang was known as a vicious figure. Even after secluding himself in the Wine God Palace, his story still continued to be told in the cultivation world. The fierce Yang Butcher. He was a textbook example of a vicious figure. Countless people used him as a target for themselves, and some even had statues of him to worship. Tu Kian Shang. Did you come to represent the Wine God Palace or yourself? Zhuo Shiang Xiang finally couldn't endure it any longer and interrupted the two of them from their cursing bout. I've come officially. The high priest sent me to testify on behalf of Long Chen. Of course, if anyone's neck is itchy, I can act personally and help them out if they want. I, Tu Kian Shang, will definitely welcome any challenger. Countless people sucked in a cold gasp of air upon hearing the high priest's name. Even the Wine God Palace's high priest was supporting Long Chen? What are you testifying? Asked Huo Xiang. What am I testifying? HMPH. Is there a need for me to even say it? Just ask Long Chen and you'll know. Sneered Tu Kian Shang. But inside, he grumbled. How am I supposed to know what I'm testifying? Tu Kian Shang had only come due to the high priest's instructions. The high priest had said that there was no need for him to bother with anything. He just had to follow Long Chen's lead. Brother Kian Shang, come here and sit. Don't waste time talking to them. In a bit, let's have a good drink. Boss Bao beckoned to Tu Kian Shang. The bosses were like soul brothers with Tu Kian Shang. It was just that they hadn't had a chance to meet before. As fellow hot-blooded men, they all admired Tu Kian Shang's accomplishments back then and they instantly felt like family. The heaven-splitting battle sect ignored ordinary people, but they warmly welcomed real men. All right, then once this matter's done, we'll drink. I'll let you taste some of my new wine. It's definitely strong enough, laughed Tu Kai and Shang. The eight of them instantly became brothers. They wished for the people in front of them to hurry up and leave so that they could drink. The atmosphere became extremely awkward. Originally. These people's plan was to thunderously stomp the Zhuanshan Dao sect to the ground. But before they could even start criticizing and denouncing them, experts appeared by Long Chen's side one by one, each more terrifying than the last. Now even Pill Valley was unable to control this matter. The ancient races were still full of killing intent, but it was no longer as intense as before. They no longer dared to say that they would destroy the Zhuanshan Dao sect today. Because looking at the current situation, the chances of them succeeding were basically zero. Cough. With so many experts here now, it just so happens we can discuss what happened clearly. I'm sure everyone will be able to tell who is right and who is wrong. Dang Kang helplessly opened his mouth. All he could do was thicken his face and press on. Due to Long Chen's continuous obstructions before, even his words were much more careful now. He no longer started off by declaring the Zhuanshan Dao sect was in the wrong. What is there to say? The Zhuanshan Dao sect killed so many experts of the ancient races. It was clearly intentional, backed by vicious motives. They have to give the ancient races an explanation. Otherwise, HMPH, sneered an ancient race expert. The ancient races didn't have that many misjivings about the Huaian sect since their resources were in their own hands. As for the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the heaven-splitting battle sect, and Tu Kai and Shang, they were all the ancient race's enemies. Naturally, the ancient race experts weren't afraid to offend them. Dang Kang nodded. He looked to Li Shiang Xuan only to see him had his eyes closed. He didn't say a word, nor did he express any opinion. Dang Kang was infuriated inside. He had come to represent the Martial Heaven Alliance. His job was to mediate things. But Li Xiangxuan's attitude irritated him. However, 
he couldn't express that anger, or it would be equivalent to joining Pill Valley's side to target the Zhuanshan Dao sect in truth. That was precisely what he was doing, but he still had to act like he wasn't. Since Li Xiangxuan refused to do anything, Dang Kang could only say, Long Chen, you're the leading role in this. How are you going to give the ancient races an explanation? Dang Kang turned to Long Chen and almost exploded in fury. Long Chen had his head down and was snoring. Long Chen, wake up. Tang Wan'er laughed inside and pushed him gently. This fellow was truly evil. However, she had no choice but to cooperate with him. Ah, is time up? Good. Then I announce that everyone can scatter. Long Chen stood to leave. Bastard, can you not be serious? Do you think acting like a fool will allow you to slip away? You think everyone here is an idiot? Roared one of the sect leaders. He was the leader of a sect called Clear Wind Valley. In the past, this sect had had some relationship with the Zhuanshan Dao sect when the Zhuanshan Dao sect was in its golden age. They had been nothing more than one of their subordinate powers. By holding the Zhuanshan Dao sect's leg, they received their protection, or they'd have long since been devoured by other powers. Later the Zhuanshan Dao sect had declined, and Clear Wind Valley had started to go against the Zhuanshan Dao sect, even mocking and sneering at them. In fact, the mines they had offered the Zhuanshan Dao sect back when they had been subservient to them had been forcibly snatched back. They were now enemies. Are you not idiots? If you aren't, then is there anyone in this world stupid enough to be an idiot? Fuck. You should count your blessings that I'm still at the Foundation Forging Realm. If I was at the Life Star Realm, not one of you would live to leave this mountain, sneered Long Chen as he took his seat again. For some reason, when that guy mentioned idiots, Long Chen became particularly angry. These people were truly idiots. It was a pity that his own power was still too low. Otherwise, he'd kill them all. These idiots from the Righteous Path would never be able to soar like the Zhuanshan Dao sect as they fought amongst themselves, even in their own sect. They were all like unrivaled heroes. Yet, when they fought the corrupt path, they were like dogs, not even possessing the bravery to bark. All they could do was scheme and fight amongst themselves. Unable to rise themselves, they did their best to stop others. If they weren't idiots, what were they? Long Chen, don't worry. As long as you say the word, I'll help you cut down that idiot. Boss Bao's eyes immediately began to shine and his hand was already touching the hilt of his sword. That person's expression immediately changed. He felt himself being locked down by an invisible aura. Boss Bao clearly wasn't joking. Long Chen, peace and harmony is to be prized. You should still reply to the ancient race's question, said Dang Kang hastily when the atmosphere tensed. Chapter 1316 The Zhuanshan Tower displays its my translator. Born to be everyone knew that Dang Kang was trying to distract Boss Bao. In truth, now that things had progressed to this point, no one wanted to fight. They didn't dare to. When they had first come, they had thought that with so many of them gathered, a declined sect like the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't be able to resist at all. But first the Zhuanshan Tower had revealed its power, and then the Huaian sect, Heaven Splitting Battle sect, Heavenly Sword Gate and Wine God Palace had joined in. If there was a fight, rivers of blood would flow. So if Boss Bar really did attack and kill that person, it still wouldn't cause a fight, because no one else wanted to. That person would have died for nothing, and no one would stand up for him. At most, they would criticize Boss Ba with a few words. That was why Dang Kang had to open his mouth and return to the main point. He could see that suppressing the Zhuanshan Dao sect today was no longer possible. The best thing to do was to resolve this problem first. Sorry, I was sleeping just now and didn't hear what the ancient races said. Can you repeat it? Asked Long Chen. In truth, he had heard it, but he simply needed some time to organize what he was going to say. That ancient race expert repeated himself. The Zhuanshan Dao sect killed so many experts of the ancient races. It was clearly intentional, backed by vicious motives. They have to give the ancient races an explanation. Otherwise, HMPH, Long Chen sneered inside. This person really was an idiot. Not only had he repeated the same threat, but even his tone was the exact same. It seemed the ancient races were very used to threatening people like this. Then there's no need for any explanation. 
Why don't you explain what that otherwise is? That will make it simpler. Just tell us. Otherwise what Long Chen asked disdainfully. You, the ancient race expert became gloomy. He hadn't expected Long Chen to directly respond in the most forceful way. Long Chen, this brother from the ancient races was just saying some words of anger. You should still respond to the main point of the question, said Dang Kang. Although his words seemed to be that of a mediator, Long Chen could hear that he was trying to force him. The Martial Heaven Alliance had actually sent such trash to mediate this matter. He was completely biased against Long Chen. But since they wanted to play, he would play with them. When had he ever been afraid of such a thing? All right. Since the Martial Heaven Alliance wants to act as a mediator to resolve our conflicts, my Zhuanshan Dao sect will accept your kindness. Let's not beat around the bush. Today, I'll let the entire righteous path see just who is in the right. I trust that at least half of the people here have secretly activated a photographic jade. There's no need for you to act so secretively. My Zhuanshan Dao sect's formation has been recording everything from the start. And once today's matter is over, we will spread it throughout the central plains. He, since everyone here is a big figure, I'm sure you'll be recognized. So, fellow from the ancient races, let me ask you this. When you say that the Xuan Master intentionally killed your people due to vicious motives, what did you mean? Isn't that obvious? It's because of you that Li Xiangxuan intentionally acted so viciously, said the ancient race expert without hesitation. Ha 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 ha, Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. His laughter contained a viciousness of a bloodthirsty beast. So you know it was because of me? Weren't you the ones who were hunting me down and trying to kill me? Was I supposed to sit there and let you kill me? You really are idiots. If I had Fatty 2's cultivation base, I'd go for a stroll through your ancient race's land and see just how many idiots I could kill. I, Long Chen. Always follow the principle of if others don't offend me, I won't offend them. The enmity between myself and the ancient races stems completely from your side. In the immemorial path, it was the ancient races who were too overbearing and tried to kill me for my treasures that made me counterattack. The enmities of the eastern wasteland were concluded in the eastern wasteland. But even now that I'm in the central plains, you still want to target me. You once more attacked me in the eastern sea and I was forced to attack back. In the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, you plotted against me, and so I once more slaughtered your people. This time at Devil Spirit Mountain, you attacked me again. For me, a single foundation forging disciple, you mobilized so many life star experts. Do your ancient races even have any face left? Because I killed your disciple, you felt like it was only natural to send your senior generation after me. But once my sect master saved me by killing those people, you demand an explanation? You idiots. Do you think the world belongs to the ancient races? Only you are permitted to kill others, but others aren't permitted to kill you? Is there such an idiotic logic in this world? Long Chen's words contained all his fury. His enmity with the ancient races had started back in the immemorial path. They had gone too far, continuously going after him. Anyone would have gotten angry let alone someone like Long Chen with his explosive temper. But in any case, you killed people from the ancient races. That's unacceptable. Pfft. One of the ancient race experts had only just finished speaking when a golden light shot out from the Zhuanshan Tower. A terrifying pressure descended, and that ancient race expert instantly couldn't move. He could only watch as he was annihilated by the golden light. Is it unacceptable? Then I want to know. After I kill all of you. What will happen? Li Xiangxuan opened his eyes at this time. Bastard. The ancient races were infuriated by Li Xiangxuan's actions. They all took out their weapons and unleashed their auras. About to start killing. Haha. <laughs> the fight starting. Boss Bao and the others were delighted. They had been waiting for this moment for a long time. Buzz. Just at this moment, the sky darkened and the world was thrust into darkness. A light beam from the Zhuanshan Tower enveloped all the ancient race experts. Under that terrifying pressure, those ancient race experts all quivered and knelt on the ground. They had no choice but to kneel. In front of that divine might, if they didn't kneel, they would immediately turn to dust. My Zhuanshan Dao sect might have declined, but our karmic luck hasn't been severed. 
With the Zhuangshan Tower present, anyone who tries to show off their power within the Zhuangshan Dao sect will be an absolute joke. Li Xiangxuan's voice resounded within the darkness. His voice was like a god's. Within this darkness, the Zhuangshan Tower was the absolute ruler. It was using the Zhuangshan Dao sect's karmic luck to form this domain. As long as Li Xiangxuan willed it, it would be able to annihilate everyone here. That included everyone from Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance. They were all shocked. They hadn't expected that not only was the Zhuangshan Tower undamaged, but the Zhuangshan Dao sect still possessed such terrifying karmic luck. They had looked down on them too much. At this time, the power the Zhuangshan Tower had displayed was enough that crushing them would be like crushing ants. Even Chi Yuneo with his divine magical staff felt his heart shuddering. If the Zhuangshan Tower unleashed its power, he had no confidence that his staff would be able to save his life. Now Chi Yuneo realized why the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had been ranked last amongst the three sects of the heavens back in their golden era. Their foundation was a far cry from the Zhuangshan Dao sects. As for the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, their foundation should be even more terrifying. It was just that everyone had been fooled by their declined appearance. Now they finally realized how terrifying their foundations were. UHH, are we still killing? Boss Bao and the others had already taken out their swords. But seeing the ancient race experts kneeling there, they didn't know if they were supposed to kill them or not. Buzz, the light beam vanished, the darkness scattered, and that terrifying pressure lifted. The world returned to its original color, but everyone was still shocked. Only now did the ancient race experts stand up, pale as paper. They no longer had their old arrogance. Just now, they had felt like they had brushed against deathnovaloon.com seeing them so ashen, not even daring to let out a fart. The dragonblood warriors all had contemptuous expressions. No wonder the rumors were that the ancient races were experts at bullying the weak but cowards in the face of the strong. They were just paper tigers that looked strong, but were more cowardly than anyone. The power of the Zhuangshan Tower had shocked everyone. Even the people from the Martial Heaven Alliance were shocked. They had all underestimated the Zhuangshan Dao sect thinking of how they had said they would raise the Zhuangshan Dao sect to the ground and erase their name from the central plains. They realized what a huge joke it had been. This slap was truly vicious. Ancient races, I'm warning you that you should do your best not to provoke my Zhuangshan Dao sect. Or me, Long Chen. We're not as easy to bully as you think. For you, whoever's fist is stronger is who's right. Correct? We can do just that right now. My Zhuangshan Dao sect's fist is not weak. It's just that we haven't unleashed it in all this time. But if there was a suitable target, my Zhuangshan Dao sect wouldn't mind unleashing this fist to prove our power, said Long Chen coldly. This was the best time to intimidate the ancient races with their power. They had to express their attitude here to shake the hearts of these shameless fellows. After finishing up with the ancient races, Long Chen turned to Zhuo Xiangxiang. He sneered. As for Pill Valley, I simply want to say that you are more shameless than the ancient races. The ancient races were at least direct and acted openly. But you, you had to set up all kinds of schemes and sinister plots. You actually listened to that idiot Xuan Jizi and wanted to steal my treasures. Dan Chu's words from the Four Nations ancient remnant already said all this. Back then. Dan Teng lost his own life to show Pill Valley's supposed innocence. But instead of learning your lesson and reserving your greed and shamelessness, you decided to unleash your anger on me. Dan Chen made up some random excuse and attacked me without giving the Zhuangshan Dao sect any notice or giving me any chance to explain my innocence. So what if we were forced to kill you shameless idiots? For you to have the face to come demand justice from my Zhuangshan Dao sect. Is Pill Valley always this shameless what bullshit? It's no random excuse. We received reports from the people within your very Zhuangshan Dao sect. People who care about the world. They demanded that we investigate the truth. What about that is improper? Raged Zhuo Xiangxiang. Chapter 1317 What is called a foundation translator? Born to be what is improper with it? I really am laughing. Do you think you're the bailiff in charge of catching this world's criminals? That you have to interfere with everything that goes on? Who gave you that authority? No matter what happens, you have to control it. 
Don't think that controlling the lifeblood of a few sects is enough to control the world. Do you think that others are fools? The sects that your Pill Valley is able to control are nothing more than minor powers currying favor. Any sects with a real backbone and a real foundation won't bend to your will. Long Chen laughed and walked off his stage. He walked through the Life Star experts, coldly looking at them. Perhaps you still don't know what a foundation is. Or perhaps the foundation that you understand is a different thing than what I'm talking about. The thing that you call foundation is nothing more than a sect's karmic luck, trump cards, and power. Perhaps those are what you're most afraid of. But today, the foundation I'm talking about is not one of those three things. After saying that, Long Chen suddenly extended a hand and slapped Pill Valley's law enforcer, Zhuo Xiang, across the face. Pow! An explosive ringing sound shocked everyone. No one would have imagined that Long Chen would attack now. As for Zhuo Xiang, he had been focused on Long Chen's words and preparing a way to argue against them. He hadn't been on guard at all. Long Chen finished speaking just as he arrived in front of him, and then slapped him without any warning. Die. Zhuo Xiang's hand suddenly became covered in flames, and he thrust it at Long Chen. But Long Chen just stood there as if he couldn't see Zhuo Xiangxiang's attack. Buzz. Darkness once more covered the world, and boundless divine might locked onto Zhuo Xiangxiang. He froze in the air, not daring to move. Do you see? This is a foundation. I can slap you, while you don't dare to kill me. If you kill me, you will be killed by the Zhuanshan Tower. Now do you understand what a foundation is? It's a heart that is willing to fight to the death fearlessly. One that dares to continue charging forward despite all obstacles. Now I've brought my foundation out. I am willing to exchange my life for yours. So I don't hesitate to slap you. But you are hesitating because you don't have that courage. Because you are afraid of dying. Long Chen stood with his arms clasped behind his back. Calmly lecturing Zhuo Xiangxiang whose face was twisted into a sinister expression. For a moment, everyone was deathly silent. Within this darkness, there was only light covering Long Chen and Zhuo Xiangxiang. Everyone's gaze was on them. Under the divine light of the Zhuanshan Tower, their expressions, even each hair on their bodies could be clearly seen. Long Chen's expression was completely calm. He hadn't even unleashed his aura, and yet that arrogant appearance that looked down on the rest of the world deeply shook the hearts of the people. Under the illumination of the Zhuanshan Tower's light, he appeared even more handsome, and his eyes shone like stars, filled with a feeling of wildness and danger, that posed a fatal attraction to young women, Men Qi, Tang Wanur, Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, and the other women all felt their hearts involuntarily pounding hard. This wild domineering display had a special kind of attraction to it. No one else could replicate his air. It was unique to Long Chen. Even some of the young female disciples from the ancient family alliance were attracted by Long Chen's appearance under that light. They had never seen or heard of someone with such a unique air. For Long Chen, someone at the foundation forging realm, to consecutively slap life star experts in the face toppled their understanding of cultivation. Most importantly, the only thing to compare him to was Zhuo Xiangxiang with his sinister expression. Even someone ordinary would become exceptionally handsome in comparison. Tu Kian Shang, Boss Bao, and the others nodded in praise. This was how real men should act. They should be domineering and dare to do what they wanted. But Li Xiangxuan was speechless. When Long Chen's temper got the best of him, he really was capable of doing anything. Despite being in control of the situation, he still took this risk. Ling Yunzi had a smile on his face. The current Long Chen was still the same Long Chen from the 108th monastery. His fearless character, one that seemed to be saying that the heavens were the younger brother while he was the big brother, hadn't changed. But the person who had to have a headache because of Long Chen had become Li Xiangxuan. When Ling Yunzi thought of all the things from back then, he felt many emotions. In the past few years, his cultivation base had advanced by leaps and bounds thanks to the Annihilation Sword Dao he had comprehended from Long Chen's body. He had risen to a height that even he would have never imagined. During these years, he had experienced countless things and gone through several metamorphoses. His own character had changed. He was like a completely different person. 
But Long Chen, despite having experienced so much slaughter, despite having killed his way from the eastern wasteland to the central plains, had still retained his original heart. That was something that made him sigh with emotion. Long Chen coldly stared at Suo Xiang, while Suo Xiang clenched his teeth and raised his arm several times. As long as he slammed his hand down, Long Chen would definitely die, but he didn't dare to, because he knew that when Long Chen was killed, the Zhuanshan Tower would annihilate him out of existence. Kill him? He didn't dare to. Don't kill him? He was unwilling. For a moment, he felt like he was going insane. Do you see? This is a foundation. Starting today, my Zhuanshan Dao sect is rising. No matter who tries to stop us, they will have to bear our merciless attacks. If anyone wants to doubt our determination, you can come and try us. The foundation I'm talking about isn't meant to just frighten you, sneered Long Chen. He turned and went back to his seat. As for Zhuo Xiangxiang, in the end, he didn't dare to attack. He just watched as Long Chen left. Dang Kang, this is the attitude of your Martial Heaven Alliance, demanded Zhuo Xiangxiang. Dang Kang helplessly said. Suppressing the weak through power isn't something we would do. I trust that the Zhuanshan Dao sect will give you a satisfactory answer. Dang Kang had once more kicked the ball back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Long Chen sneered. I've already given my answer. When it comes to the ancient races, they simply deserved it. After hunting me down for so long, our Xuan master accidentally killed some of them. Now, neither side owes the other anything. As for Pill Valley, Dan Teng intentionally made a plot to harm me. Although he was executed by Pill Valley, Dan Chen then continued to try and kill me. He also died accidentally to the Xuan Master. I'm not going to look further into why he was targeting me. So that matter is also over. What further answer is required? If Long Chen had said this at the start, everyone would have scoffed at him and cursed him, helping Pill Valley condemn him. But after the intimidation of the Zhuanshan Tower, None of them dared to make a sound. If you wanted to talk reason, the first thing you needed was power. Otherwise, a tiger wouldn't talk reason with a rabbit. Now, Long Chen had displayed the power of a lion, and his words contained enough weight. All right, then even if we first set aside those two points, what about your status as a heaven Caesar? Why would so many people claim that you are a heaven Caesar and they even come from the same sect as you? Don't you feel like you should give an explanation to the righteous path? Demanded Suo Xiangxiang. Right now, it really was difficult to quibble with the first two points, and so he could only turn to Long Chen's status as a heaven Caesar. Just this one point was enough to get Long Chen killed. And even if he wasn't killed, the Zhuanshan Dao sect would become the world's enemy and be destroyed quickly. No one would be able to protect them. So Zhuo Xiangxiang's goal would still be achieved. Long Chen smiled slightly. Long since knowing he would say this. Where are those people saying that? Let them come out and testify HMPH. You want them to come out? Fine. Following Zhuo Xiangxiang's voice. Over ten disciples wearing the robes of the Zhuanshan Dao sect walked out. Everyone. We can testify that Long Chen is a heaven Caesar. A variant heaven Caesar. We personally witnessed the change in the Dragon Blood Legion. Those disciples all began to raise suspicious points. Some even said that they had personally seen Long Chen extract other people's spirit blood after killing them and inject it into the disciples of the Dragon Blood Legion. They had seen those Dragon Blood Warriors celestial ranks advancing right there and then. Long Chen, do you still have anything to say? These disciples are all people from your Zhuanshan Dao sect. Correct? For them to accuse you, we also didn't dare to completely trust them. So we even investigated their souls and found that they aren't lying. That's why we wanted to capture you. For the safety of the righteous path. Is there anything wrong with that? If you don't believe me, you can do your own soul sark to check their memories. Said Suo Xiangxiang confidently. Ha! Changing memories. Hypnotizing people. Spiritual witchcraft. I stopped playing with such things a long time ago. It seems I really overestimated you. Is your Pill Valley just a group of pigs? You think changing a few memories is enough to get me killed? Don't you know that everything in the Zhuanshan Dao sect is under the view of the reincarnation mirror sneered Long Chen? Buzz. Just at this moment, a scene appeared in the air. 
This scene showed the testifying disciples being drawn out of the sect in secret, either by mysterious experts, by the bait of wealth or resources, or even by attractive females. All the scenes were there. Damn it. That girl so attractive. Why didn't she come seduce me? Aya Guo Ran was in the midst of sighing emotionally when Tang Wan Er kicked him away. This little fellow was becoming unbridled once more and saying whatever was on his mind. Guo Ran hastily quibbled. What I mean is that if she came to seduce me, I would display to her what an iron heart and unchanging faith are. I would show my undying loyalty to boss shut up. If you keep talking, I'll send you to sister Ching Yu Long Chen almost coughed up blood. Guo Ran's impromptu performance made the atmosphere Long Chen had worked hard to build weaken. Long Chen really wanted to slap him. Oh Grand Law Enforcers Huo, the reincarnation mirror is one of my Zhuanqian Dao sect's core divine items. You wouldn't suspect that we would fake such a thing, right? Long Chen looked at Zhuo Xiang. At this time, Zhuo Xiang's face alternated between red and white. He looked like he had just eaten a pile of dog shit and couldn't swallow it, nor could he spit it out. For a moment, everyone was silent, all their gazes on Zhuo Xiang. Chapter 1318 An Explanation Translator Born to be the reincarnation mirror was one of the Zhuanqian Dao sect's core treasures, and it had amazing abilities of its own. The reincarnation mirror even had the ability to deduce the past and future based on the heavenly deos. This matter's cause was instantly exposed. Zhuo Xiangxiang was incomparably infuriated. He had asked all of the already dead Dan Sheng's women about this matter, but due to insufficient time on his part, he hadn't been too clear about these testifiers. When Dan Sheng had targeted Long Chen back at Devil Spirit Mountain, he had sworn to Pill Valley that when it came to the testifiers, there would definitely be no problem. But what he meant by there would be no problem was that after he captured Long Chen, he would kill the testifiers and only leave behind a recording of them testifying against Long Chen. Once those people were dead, Dan Chen would even push the blame on the Zhuanqian Dao sect, making the story that the Zhuanqian Dao sect had killed those people to try and cover up the truth. Regretfully, Dan Chen's life was cut short by Li Xiangxuan, and he hadn't accomplished his mission. As for Zhuo Xiangxiang, he hadn't known about this plan of Dan Shang's, causing him to make a huge mistake today. He had ended up conned by himself. Someone must be trying to target your Zhuanqian Dao sect to do this. Perhaps your Zhuanqian Dao sect simply offended someone. I had no idea about this matter. Zhuo Xiangxiang immediately cut off his own ties to this matter. Pill Valley definitely could not be given the name of someone who framed others. Otherwise, they would lose all their face. In the Four Nations ancient remnant, Pill Valley could say that Dan Teng's plot against Long Chen was due to a personal grievance. At most, Pill Valley would say that Dan Teng was at fault and execute him. That would count as an explanation to the righteous path. But now it was different. Zhuo Xiangxiang had come under his status as Pill Valley's law enforcer. If he accepted that this was done by Pill Valley, it would truly be the entire Pill Valley framing others. Haha, <laughs> you didn't know about it? If you didn't know, why did you so stubbornly insist that I'm a heaven Caesar? You even hunted me down so openly. Are you all idiots? Or do you just believe anything that others tell you? Then do you believe me when I say I'm your long missing father? Sneered Long Chen. Did he think people were stupid enough to believe this excuse? Long Chen, perhaps there is some misunderstanding. Either way. Zhuo Xiangxiang is a senior from Pill Valley. You should pay attention to your tone. Chided Dang Kang, helping Zhuo Xiangxiang from his conundrum. Can a senior randomly accuse anyone of anything? Sorry, but I'm not taking that crap. Scoffed Long Chen. Long Chen, do you know who you're speaking to? Dang Kang's expression sank. He now attempted to use his status as part of the Martial Heaven Alliance to suppress him. Don't try to act so magnanimous. You're not the one who was hunted down. Today, I am announcing that the Zhuanqian Dao sect is rising. You've seen our trump cards, and you've seen our attitude clearly. If you want to die, then come at any time. My Zhuanqian Dao sect will accompany you to the last warrior, to our last drop of blood. So either fight, or scram. Fight or scram. Fight or scram. Fight or scram. 
Following Long Chen's voice, the Dragonblood Legion all raised their arms and cheered, their voices shaking the sky. At the same time, the cries of every disciple in the Zhuangshan Dao sect filled the sect their cries transmitted their stubborn battle intent. Although these disciples' cultivation bases were low, they were incredibly united, to the point that even these life star experts' expressions changed. They were all the higher-ups of their sects, and some were even their sect masters, but they had never seen a single sect's disciples be so united. They were all crying in unison. This overflowing battle intent and fearless drive could not be faked. This matter can end here. My Pill Valley will investigate what happened and who was intentionally harming your Zhuangshan Dao sect. We will definitely find justice for you. Zhuo Xiang finally reacted, pushing this matter to the side. He continued, However, are you not going to give us an explanation for the strange advancements of your Dragonblood Legion? Zhuo Xiang could only use this one point to turn things around. If Long Chen refused to answer, then there was no way the righteous path would accept it. This secret was something everyone wanted to know. Before this, Pill Valley had wanted to take this secret for themselves. But now, that was no longer possible so they could only share it with everyone. Whether or not Long Chen actually told them, it would be beneficial to these people. Just how was it that Long Chen, someone with no background, was able to raise the Dragonblood Legion? If they learned this secret, they could also upgrade their own disciples. That's right. This is a problem that threatens the very unity of the righteous path. It threatens the peace of this world. So you must tell us. Following Zhuo Xiangxiang. Other life star experts began to echo his sentiment. Unity and peace? Are you joking with me? When has the righteous path ever been united or peaceful? When you see others rising, you're even more evil than the corrupt path. It's like you think when we get stronger, we'll dig up your ancestors' tombs, sneered Long Chen. Seeing their self-righteous expressions, he felt like he might vomit. HMPH, don't waste time. Today, if you don't tell us, it will prove you're a variant heaven Caesar, cried a life star expert in the crowd. A bunch of idiots. Aren't you just greedy for the secret of my dragonblood legion? All right, then today I'll open your dog eyes. Look closely. Long Chen clapped his hands, and over 20 of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples walked out. They were young, only 16 or 17, but their robes were not the robes of a disciple. They were workers of the outer sect and their cultivation bases were only at the bone-forging realm. Within the Zhuangshan Dao sect, their age and cultivation bases couldn't count as talented. They weren't even qualified to become outer sect disciples. Come, each person can get a bowl. Drink. Long Chen took out a jug and gave them bowls filled with wine. As soon as this wine appeared, its fragrance filled the air. Just by smelling it, a person's pores would open and it would completely relax them. These life star experts' hearts shook. This wine was definitely something only the wine god palace could make. These people hadn't tasted a drop in all their lives. Those disciples looked at Long Chen with worship. He was the idol of the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect. And just being this close to him made them quiver. They immediately drank their bowls. Even if this bowl had been full of poison, they'd have still drunk it without hesitation. Buzz. All the workers suddenly began to shine. Heaven and earth rumbled as heavenly Tao energy gathered around them. As they bathed in the heavenly Daos, they slowly began to condense runes. What this scene shocked everyone. These workers had been nothing more than ordinary cultivators, but now they had condensed heavenly Da runes. Suddenly, a sea of runes appeared behind these disciples. That was the specific cry of the heavenly Daos unique to celestials. This scene was absolutely stunning. They had never seen such a thing. It had to be known that Celestials were the favorites of the heavens, and their number was dictated by the chi flow of the world. They were not made by artificial power. That was why the Dragonblood Legion's rise had alarmed these sects Novaloon.com buzz. What? They have become ranked two Celestials. Even this person's voice was shaking, because two kinds of runes had now appeared behind these workers, and their heavenly Tao energy strengthened once more. Everyone was stunned. There was a chance for a rank 1 celestial to advance to become a rank 2 celestial, but that chance was very low. But now, over 20 workers had become rank 2 celestials at the same time. Buzz. 
Just at this moment, a third kind of rune appeared behind these disciples. Their heavenly Tao energy strengthened once more as they became rank 3 celestials. These workers were dumbfounded. They stood there like statues, not daring to move. Everyone was deathly silent. This completely toppled their understanding of this world. They had seen a group of workers go from ordinary cultivators to rank 3 celestials in one go right in front of them. Now you're rank 3 celestials. But this isn't your final target. The Dragonblood Legion was once like you. And all drank this wine in order to have their current accomplishments. That's why they are your future. Today, you were fortunate. I gave all my remaining heavenly Tao wine to you. Now, there's no more heavenly Tao wine in this world, said Long Chen. The wine jug in his hand shattered to pieces. The jug was completely empty. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We will never forget your favor. Those workers immediately knelt on the ground. Tears streamed down their faces. This fortune had come so suddenly that they couldn't even believe it. All right, you can go now. Starting today, you are no longer workers, but intersect disciples. Congratulations Long Chen smiled and sent those disciples away. Toward the people staring at the fragments of the jug lifelessly, he said. This wine was something the high priest of the wine god palace gave to me. He told me this is the wine god's most ancient inheritance. The blessing of the wine god. But you were so shameless as to continuously frame me as a heaven Caesar. Now that the truth is revealed. Do you have anything left to say? This wine was something he had added crushed rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, and rank 5 heavenly Tao fruits into. That allowed these disciples to instantly become rank 3 celestials. But so much energy couldn't be digested at once. That would completely ruin their foundations and also waste the heavenly Tao fruits. So he only allowed them to become rank 3 celestials for now. I don't believe you. This is definitely a lie you made up. An expert suddenly let out an unwilling roar. Chapter 1319 The Peak of Shamelessness Translator Born to be this result was something that many people couldn't accept. Seeing these disciples advance to become rank 3 celestials in one go made all their eyes red. But this wine came from the wine god palace, and Long Chen said it was a precious remnant of the wine god and the last bit remaining in this world. He had actually wasted such a thing on workers in order to prove his innocence. Everyone knew that Long Chen wasn't a heaven Caesar. They simply said that for their own profit. This way, not only could they suck up to Pill Valley, but they could also prevent the Zhuanshan Dao sect from rising. Furthermore, they also hoped to learn this secret. But now that this secret was public, it didn't bring them the slightest benefit. And in the future, they would have no excuse to target the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Are you an idiot? This wine comes from the wine god palace. How could it possibly be faked? Sneered Tu Kian Shang. Now Tu Kian Shang realized what the high priest had meant by telling him to testify for Long Chen. It seemed that he was helping Long Chen bear the brunt of this problem. This so-called heavenly Tao wine never existed. This wine Long Chen had taken out might be able to deceive others, but it couldn't deceive Tu Kian Chang who came from the wine god palace. He knew Long Chen had done something to this wine, but he naturally didn't expose him and instead helped him cover it up. No matter what Long Chen said, all he had to do was fully support him. But when the Dragonblood Legion first started rising a few years ago, you still didn't have any relationship with the wine god palace. How do you explain that? Demanded someone. The times didn't match. Fool. I've already told you the origin of this wine to prove my innocence. Don't act like this is an interrogation. I'm not your father. So why do I have to tell you my secrets? As for why the high priest would treat me like this. You should go ask him. Sneered Long Chen. The truth was that Long Chen had a hundred different excuses to cover this up, but he couldn't be bothered, so he directly used the most head-on approach. A lie was a lie, and the more you spoke, the more holes would appear in your story. Thanks to his years of experience, Long Chen wouldn't make such a foolish mistake. He decided to directly destroy all of their options. If they wanted to ask anything, they could go ask the high priest. He wanted to see just who would dare to do such a thing. Seeing Long Chen directly push the problem to the wine god palace's high priest. Everyone was at a loss for words. Go demand an answer from the wine god palace? Was that a joke? 
Not even Pill Valley had such gods. Although the wine god palace did not participate in the outside world struggles, everyone could tell how strong they were just from how they had expelled Pill Valley from the Grand Shia ancient nation. Pill Valley no longer dared to take a step within the Grand Shia. So just what sect would dare to be so brazen? Back then, even though they had been trying to capture Long Chen, Pill Valley still hadn't dared to enter the Grand Shia. They had only been bold enough to seal the border. So it could be seen how afraid Pill Valley was of the Wine God Palace. Zhuo Xiang's expression became exceedingly ugly. Now he couldn't find any trouble for Long Chen. Pill Valley and the ancient races had been slapped in the face once more. This time, the entire Eastern Xuan region had known of this matter. So they would truly lose face. I've already made the secret of the Heavenly Dao Wine public. What are you still doing here? Hurry up and scram. Are you planning on staying for dinner? Long Chen looked at Zhuo Xiang indifferently. Back when he had first started cooperating with the Wine God Palace, Long Chen had discussed this with the High Priest. He had left himself this path. That was because Long Chen had known that the Dragonblood Legion's secret would be exposed sooner or later, and the Wine God Palace was the best shield for that. That was why this time, Long Chen hadn't had any misjivings about raising the Dragonblood Legion's power all at once. These experts still hadn't recovered from their shock. It was like they were in a dream. Although they still felt like there were many suspicious points, they weren't qualified to force Long Chen to answer their questions. Long Chen, even ignoring the heavenly Dao wine, what about my Pill Valley's Nirvana scripture? That's a secret art that my Pill Valley does not transmit to anyone. Where did you learn it from? demanded Zhuo Xiangxiang suddenly. When fighting Ji Yuai Yan, Long Chen had used the Nirvana scripture, so Zhuo Xiangxiang was aware of it. The Nirvana scripture was something only the top disciples of Pill Valley could learn. It not only required great talent, but also a specialized expert to guide you. But Long Chen was actually able to use it. Does the Nirvana scripture belong to Pill Valley? Is there any proof? I obtained the Nirvana scripture in one of the trials of the immemorial path. So does it have any relation to you? Sneered Long Chen. The Nirvana scripture was something he had learned in the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower. But back then, he had used a fake status, Long San, and also changed his appearance. No one would link the two. Furthermore, it was true that he had only truly used it in the immemorial path and after. So there was no way to tell he was lying. The immemorial path was an extremely ancient existence. Its history stretched into the immortal era, which was even more ancient than the dark era. There was no way to say anything about it for sure. So it was possible for him to have learned the Nirvana scripture inside. I don't believe you. Speak. What trial did you obtain it from? And how? Don't think I'm so easy to trick. Sneered Zhuo Xiangxiang. Idiot. This is my personal secret. You're not my son. So why should I tell you? Just telling you that I obtained it in the immemorial path is already giving you face. But as always, I give you an inch, and you take a yard. You're truly courting death. I will no longer answer any of your questions. All I have left for you is one phrase. Fight, or scram. Long Chen couldn't be bothered. This fellow really was an idiot. Now that he had already resolved the problem of him being a heaven Caesar. Pill Valley had lost the right to try and make things hard for him. Furthermore, on his side, there was the Huaian sect, Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, Heavenly Sword Gate, and Wine God Palace, as well as the Zhuanshan Tower. Even if Long Chen slapped Huo Xiang on the face again, he wouldn't dare to counterattack. But now they were too far apart, and with his previous experience, this fellow would definitely be prepared so the chances of succeeding were too low. Otherwise, Long Chen would have definitely slapped him again. Everyone was silent. The people from Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the righteous path all looked at each other in dismay, not able to say a single word. So many of them had come in such an overbearing manner. They had shaken the entire eastern Xuan region. It was unknown how many smaller powers were paying attention to the situation here in secret. Now. After having so many of their experts slain by the Zhuanshan Dao sect, they were unable to do anything and were instead viciously slapped in the face. If they left just like this, they would become laughingstocks. 
For the people from the righteous path, it wasn't that bad. But Pill Valley and the ancient races would lose all their face. Those two powers had come to find justice. But instead of that, they were kicked off the mountain like dogs. However, there was no longer any justifiable reason for them to target Long Chen. They were helpless. Cough. This matter is actually just a misunderstanding. Everyone, there's no need to be so hostile. Dang Kang suddenly coughed, saying, Since it's a misunderstanding, why must we fight? In the end, the Zhuangshan Dao sect truly acted improperly. A strange smile appeared on Long Chen's face, and he didn't say anything. He just looked at Dang Kang, allowing him to continue. He wanted to see what kind of crap he was about to spout. Seeing Long Chen didn't retort, Dang Kang thought that Long Chen had reserved himself, and he became much more confident. He cleared his throat and continued. Although everyone came in an overbearing fashion and said that they would destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect, those were just words of anger and can't be taken literally. As for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, you refused to answer and immediately killed people. This is against the reputation and harmony of the righteous path. Although it is mostly confirmed now that Long Chen isn't a heaven Caesar, he should have announced his secrets earlier to avoid so many experts losing their lives. It's not like his secrets were things that could not see the light of the day. Dang Kang shook his head with pity at the end. Secrets had to be made public? If not, it was right for others to kill you? Dang Kang, do you have the slightest sense of shame? Long Chen cursed inside, but he still didn't say anything. Now isn't the time to continue looking into who was right and who was wrong. This was all just a misunderstanding. However, this misunderstanding caused the ancient races, Pill Valley, and the righteous path to lose many experts. In the end, someone must pay for the debt. Furthermore, no matter how you put it, the Zhuangshan Dao sect has some responsibility for these matters. So, I will represent the Martial Heaven Alliance to mediate things. We will let this matter go, and the Zhuangshan Dao sect will not have to pay any compensation what bullshit. So many of our people died. If they're not going to compensate us, who is? Roared an expert from the ancient races. On the other hand, Zhuo Xiangxiang was expressionless and just calmly listening. Let me finish. Although the Zhuangshan Dao sect has some responsibility in this matter, they also lost quite a few experts in Devil Spirit Mountain. So. This matter of compensation will be paid by my Martial Heaven Alliance. Dang Kang smiled. The Martial Heaven Alliance will compensate us. The ancient race experts were stunned. Even the other experts were stunned, including the Zhuangshan Dao sect's elders. Only Long Chen and Li Xiangxuan smiled ever so slightly. That smile was one of disdain. Correct. The Zhuangshan Dao sect killed many of the corrupt path's experts, which is a great deal of merit. But they also killed experts of the ancient races and Pill Valley. Their conduct gravely damaged the unity of the continent. So the Martial Heaven Alliance has decided to neither punish nor reward them. Their reward and punishment cancel out. And their original reward will be split amongst those experts who died. How does this sound? Said Dang Kang. Ha 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 ha. Suddenly, Long Chen raised his head and laughed thunderously his voice full of fury and killing intent. Chapter 1320 Men Key's Fury Translator Born to be from the moment Dang Kang had opened his mouth and said that the Martial Heaven Alliance would be paying the compensation. Long Chen had known what this bastard had been intending. He was planning on using the reward of the battle on Devil Spirit Mountain, the reward belonging to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, to appease the ancient races and Pill Valley. He wanted to take the Zhuangshan Dao sect's resources to use as a gift for others. Although he had long since been prepared for such a thing, he was still infuriated. For someone to be shameless to such an extent, he supposed he should admire it. Dang Kang's expression sank. Long Chen, you, shut the fuck up. Do you believe me when I say if you piss me off anymore, I'll kill you right now, raged Long Chen. At this time. Long Chen's eyes were about to spit flames. His killing intent had risen to his peak. He really did want to use the Zhuangshan Tower to kill all these people. The experts of the Zhuangshan Dao sect shed their blood and sacrificed their own lives to kill the corrupt path's experts. Now, you want to stretch your greedy claws to their accomplishments? Are you even human? Let me make you a promise right now. Whether it's Pill Valley, 
the ancient races, or even your damn martial heaven alliance. Anyone who dares to touch that reward will have to repay it back 10,000 times. Although Long Chen was only a foundation forging disciple, when he was enraged, his killing intent caused even these life star experts to turn cold. Although his cultivation base was low, his combat power was immense, comparable to a rank 9 celestial. Most importantly, he had the Dragon Blood Legion with its limitless potential. No one thought he was making an empty promise. Haha, <laughs> I really did see something marvelous this time. The Martial Heaven Alliance is no longer the old Martial Heaven Alliance. The disorder within makes me sigh. At this moment, Yu Qingxin, who hadn't said anything this whole time, finally opened his mouth. Dang Kang, don't you think you're going a bit too far? Your paternal aunt, Dang Huakin, is Zhuo Xianai's mother, and Zhuo Xianai is Zhuo Xiangxiang's paternal cousin. Don't you think it's a bit improper for you two relatives to work together to con the Zhuangshan Dao sect? I can't bear to watch it any longer. Yu Qingxian's words caused a huge uproar. Whether it was the righteous experts, the ancient race experts, or the ancient family alliances experts, they all looked oddly at Dang Kang and Zhuo Xiangxiang. They hadn't expected the two of them to have such a hidden relationship. Fuck. No wonder you always helped them. So it's a mouse and a snake sharing the same hole. How did you even have the face to show yourself and act as a mediator? Dang Kang, shouldn't you just kill yourself out of shame? Guo Ran was the first to break into curses. At first, Guo Ran and the others had thought that Dang Kang had been sent to smooth things over by the Martial Heaven Alliance. But now it turned out he had been colluding with Pill Valley from the start. Dang Kang and Zhuo Xiangxiang's expressions were ugly. They hadn't expected such a secret was known by Yu Qingxin. It had to be known that even within their families, only very few people knew this secret. Absolute nonsense. Rage Dang Kang. Dang Kang, are you questioning my trustworthiness as a businessman? All right, then I'll prove that as a businessman. I never spout nonsense. Let's start with your Dang family's history. It all began when Dang Yeoki was taken in as a disciple of Pill Valley. Hearing the name Dang Yeoki, Dang Kang's expression once more changed. He hadn't expected the Huaian sect to know the matters of his Dang family so clearly. If he allowed Yu Qingxin to continue speaking, he would be doomed. I, Dang Kang, have always acted in an open and above-board manner. I am never biased, nor would I help any relatives there's no need to praise yourself just yet. I am just wondering why the Martial Heaven Alliance would send you for such a major affair. Considering your relationship with Pill Valley, even if you were capable of being unbiased, you aren't fit to be the mediator. Furthermore, anyone with a head can see that you were continuously targeting the Zhuangshan Dao sect from the start. Do you think we're all idiots? Dang Kang, you look down on others too much. This matter isn't as simple as you think. Do you think that by suppressing this matter in secret, it would make everything disappear? You're wrong. Even if I hadn't brought up your relationship, the countless experts paying attention to this in the dark would have uncovered this eventually. This matter has shaken the entire eastern Xuan region. For you to selfishly abuse your position to target the Zhuangshan Dao sect ah, don't argue just yet. I'm not a judge, so I don't care about these things. All I'm saying is that you should prepare yourself. Whether the Martial Heaven Alliance wants to be just this time or whether they have to bend to public pressure, you, Dang Kang, will definitely not have a good ending. If I were you, I wouldn't waste your little time remaining on arguing. The Zhuangshan Dao sect will definitely send a complaint to the Martial Heaven Alliance. So you should think about how you want to pass the rest of your life. Dang Kang was pale as paper. Now he was really afraid. At first, he had just received a simple request from Pill Valley to act as a witness in this matter. Originally, Pill Valley was planning on eradicating the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and they had invited Dang Kang to avoid having the Martial Heaven Alliance interfere. All Dang Kang had to do was say that he thought all the blame rested on the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and he was powerless to do anything about their destruction Novaloon.com but things didn't go according to Pill Valley's plan. Now. Pill Valley hadn't been able to obtain anything, so Dang Kang had set his sights on the Zhuangshan Dao sect's reward. This reward was currently still in the Martial Heaven Alliance. 
due to the fact that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had also killed people from the ancient races and Pill Valley, they hadn't immediately sent it. That was because once they sent it, they would be accepting that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had made great merit this time, which would also be accepting that Li Xiangxuan had been right to kill those experts from Pill Valley and the ancient races. That was why the reward had been pushed back to until this matter was over. Yu Qingxian hadn't come with any intention of criticizing the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, from a business standpoint, amicability made you rich. Making enemies everywhere wouldn't make you rich. But Dang Kang had gone too far, and Yu Qingxian hadn't been able to help himself. Dang Kang, don't worry. The Zhuangshan Dao sect will definitely investigate this matter to the end. I really want to know just what kind of existence the Martial Heaven Alliance is. If it's the sum of the Martial Heaven Continent's righteous path, then why would they instead help outsiders suppress their own people? I don't think there's any need for such an alliance to exist. Or perhaps I should say, how many people like you, Dang Kang, are in the alliance? Is the change in the Martial Heaven Alliance related to certain powers infiltrating the alliance? Asked Long Chen indifferently. Yu Qingxian nodded inside. Each one of Long Chen's words was pointed right at the vitals of the Martial Heaven Alliance. If they didn't give the Zhuangshan Dao sect an explanation, they would have to bear the fury of the righteous path. This was different from Pill Valley. The Martial Heaven Alliance was an existence elected by the righteous path. It only existed to unify the righteous path's powers against the corrupt path. The operation fees of the Martial Heaven Alliance were paid by the taxes of each righteous sect and so it was those very sects that the Martial Heaven Alliance depended on. Now that Dang Kang and Zhuo Xiangxiang's relationship was exposed, the fact that the Martial Heaven Alliance had worked together with Pill Valley to suppress the Zhuangshan Dao sect would definitely cause huge waves in the continent. This was something none of the righteous sects would allow. Just a few sentences from Long Chen caused terror to appear on Dang Kang's face. He could already tell just how serious this matter was. He thought of Dan Teng and how he had been killed to show Pill Valley's innocence. For a moment, everyone was silent. The Zhuangshan Dao sect side icily stared at these sanctimonious fellows with disdainful expressions. The faces of Pill Valley and the ancient races had been slapped thoroughly. They didn't even have the slightest ability to counterattack now. Their only choice was to scram. Staying here didn't give them any hope, but leaving would cause them to lose all their face. They were stuck. Long Chen, weren't you struck by the corrupt path's underworld soul ghost curse? How are you completely fine? Asked a righteous expert suddenly. Does it have anything to do with you? Do you have some problem with me being alive? Sneered Long Chen. This person was a true idiot. He was asking to be cursed. That righteous expert's words immediately brought everyone's attention to Long Chen. That underworld soul ghost curse was one of the corrupt path's most vicious curses. Those who were cursed would definitely die. For Long Chen to still be alive, could it be he had already undone the curse? Long Chen, I heard you have the ability to fight rank 9 celestials. I wonder if that's true or false? Do you dare to have a battle against me? Don't worry, I, Luo Mingheo, will not bully you. You are in the foundation forging realm, so I will also suppress my cultivation base to the foundation forging realm. If you can receive three blows from me, it will count as your win. At this moment, the rank 9 celestial from the ancient family alliance finally opened his mouth to challenge Long Chen to a battle. Furthermore, this Luo Mingheo's tone was exceedingly arrogant. To say he would only use three moves, he was intentionally humiliating Long Chen. My Zhuangshan Dao sect has never had any conflicts with your ancient family alliance. Are you trying to pick a fight? Long Chen didn't even look at Luo Mingheo. He spoke directly to the leader of the ancient family alliance's group. For young disciples to exchange pointers is completely normal. Where did this hostility come from? Said that elder indifferently. Long Chen's gaze was cold. He was just about to speak when Meng Chi flew into the air wearing a bright dress that made her seem like a pure fairy. If you want to fight, I'm willing to accept your challenge. With Long Chen's status and position, not just anyone is qualified to challenge him, said Meng Chi. Her voice was beautiful, but her eyes were cold. Meng Chi had a calm and peaceful nature, but some people were just too hateful. 
Despite knowing Long Chen was afflicted with a curse and couldn't fight, they intentionally wanted to humiliate him. Luo Minghao was instantly captivated by Meng Qi's beauty, thinking of how intimately Meng Qi and Tang Wan'er had treated Long Chen. Inconcealable envy appeared in his eyes. With a cold snort, he also flew into the air, 